Oh, happy Wednesday, everyone. How's everyone doing today? What a vibin' good, magnificent day it is today, right? Today is going to be a beautiful, wonderful day. I can feel it in my soul. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? Oh, love the Final Fantasy IX avatar. Oh, oh, for the uh, PlayStation. Oh, we're we ready jumping into Demon Souls. Zeph wants to jump in and play games early. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah, yeah, the VV avatar. Of all the avatars I saw, I mean, T VV is VV is love. VV is life, right? Fortune. VV is love and life. Now I love uh, Final Fantasy IX. It's like. It's so close to seven as uh, one of my favorites, but oh, I love Final Fantasy seven so much. <laughs> Yo, Suits, how you doing today, buddy? Lolly, how are you doing today, buddy? Charlie, Fortune, Esther, welcome in everyone. Hope everyone is having just a phenomenal, phenomenal day always. Miss my VV Lurk emote. Oh, did you have a VV Lurk emote? You know who has kick-ass VV emotes? Of course, Fortune Cookie has kick-ass VV emote. Um, my buddy JP, all of his emotes are like black mages and they all look so damn good. They're so, so, so adorable. <laughs> doing all right. How are you? I'm doing good. I kind of slept in a little bit. So sorry for starting a little bit later. Layla jumped up on me right as I was getting out of bed and she had to get so many puppy cuddles in. It was ridiculous. So I blame Layla for being a little bit late. <laughs> Yo, Krimen, welcome in, buddy. Happy Wednesday. How you doing today, Krimen? I'm so freaking good. My last week of the semester. Oh, hell yeah, suits. Dude, that is super damn exciting to hear. What happens after this? Do you get like your degree? Is everything like finalized after that? Yes, though, some people keep saying do not make a filthy mage during Dark Souls. And then I said, Vivi said, how dare you? always black mages right always black mage vibes my goodness how are you enjoying dark souls so far fortune how was it yesterday i watched for a good chunk of time but i didn't get to see uh aside from you taking down the one boss like a boss of course dude my man zach how you doing today buddy oh you aren't that late <laughs> yeah i feel i i get rushed man like right i always like right at seven o'clock man i'm like really rushing to try to try to jump in and try to get things started on time just because i really don't like being late i'm like super crazy about being like as consistent as possible so feels late to me i'm sorry y'all i'll i'll be we'll try to not get so many layla cuddles in the morning next time <laughs> dude zach my man how are you doing today brother hope work is going work ah i get it work like chocobo work like chocobo work no i think that's wark right isn't it wark yeah it is wark chocobo wark lurk squidzilla had a gr oh squidzilla or squilla killa gotcha sorry my my mind isn't working right now i haven't had my first sip of coffee so bear with me <laughs> squilla killa had a great vv mode but as a rule i do not sub to partners i prefer to support smaller streamers i dig that suits hell yeah my hell yeah my friend big love hey lolly with the epic cheers i will take all the coffee i can get yo king how you doing today brother good morning to your fabulous beautiful face as well my friend <laughs> it's weird i'm not used to using the shield oh that is the hardest part fortune going from um going from like bloodborne to at least demon souls as well and it sounds like dark souls getting used to the shield it's such a a mind yeah you gotta like completely change your mind and how you how you parry how you think everything it's it's so different it's so similar but so different at the same time so you'll get it though just keep keep going at it you're gonna destroy dark souls you'll probably be dark souls before i beat demon souls <laughs> facts right there so got about a year left but big promotion happens after i get this Ooh, c i o chief intelligence officer is that what's right around the corner suits doing all right kind of tired working as always how are you doing today Zephy? i'm pretty good i i slept in 
a little bit and then right when i noticed i was sleeping in and running late i tried to jump up and layla like jumped right on me and i uh, was wanting a ton of puppy cuddles so slept in a little bit got a ton of puppy cuddles to start hanging out with incredible friends it is absolutely gonna be a kick-ass day for for a lot of reasons a lot of reasons january 20th it's gonna be a kick-ass day wink wink oh transitioning from dodging to blocking is tough for sure it is i mean i i definitely was getting a little bit of that dodge um yesterday and the day before but yeah you really do want to like go for the shield hardcore missed a couple of your streams my internet was down oh no esther i'm sorry to hear that i hope the internet is working better i appreciate you being here every chance you can i will cheers epically big for that um internet problems are i hate internet problems internet problems are annoying problems but you got this esther i have faith in you you got this <laughs> oh my goodness abby master welcome in my friend how you doing today hope you are having a kick-ass day thank you so much for the follow my friend first real boss the Taurus demon i second tried because he yeeted himself off of the bridge a hey. <laughs> epic cheers as well my friend emerald islander yo wink wink indeed how you doing today buddy cheers for emerald cheers for abby cheers for everyone my friends maybe one more Ooh, that caffeine goodness i'm already feeling it i'm already feeling it in my head <laughs> dude emerald how you doing today buddy oh my goodness hope you are having a magnificent day as well if we could get an epic shout out as well for emerald islander we raided emerald what was it last week i think it was friday i think it was friday right um absolutely phenomenal streamer and also jams to the ukulele oh hell yeah i can dig it <laughs> bro do you watch anime i don't really watch anime abby um i've seen a couple of the uh what do you um the studio ghibli movies and i really like those but i don't watch much tv or much of nothing anymore so oh i do need to get i do need to find a good show or movie or something to jump into though wifey has been like we should watch something so do you have any recommendations abby oh man host a potty oh yes dude suits king thank you guys so much for the host king i think yours got covered by the the little social media thing so we'll we'll do it again i got you buddy <laughs> thank you guys seriously so much for the love the support the good vibes the positivity always nothing but all the love my friends Taurus demon go whack and then fall to his death when you can get the soul's enemies to fall to their death instead of the other way around it's good feelings it's really good feelings <laughs> I haven't seen almost any of the Ghibli movies and I'm sad I haven't Ooh, they're really good honestly I've only seen two of them Princess Mononoke and um what was the other one spirited away but both of them are really good i would definitely recommend at least those two i really want to jump in on some of the other ones as well <laughs> yo zach thank you so much for the host buddy fortune cookie thank you so much for the host as well y'all are just giving me all the epic love on my auto host list big hug suits big hugs for you my friend yo golly how you doing today how's it going not going to hear your answer since i'm riding and jamming my rear off but i hope you are doing well i'm doing fine that is for sure hell yeah golly nothing but all the love keep rocking out on that guitar my friend and tv shows watch the good doctor i haven't heard of the good doctor before is it is it on netflix or like i think i have netflix and amazon prime um i think that's it though but I haven't heard of the good doctor. Sadly, need to lurk, but have my host. <laughs> I was about to spill my drink everywhere. Have my host and my hugs. All the good vibes always for your fortune cookie. You are amazing. Thank you always for being your magnificent, wonderful self. I hope you have a kick ass day. If the day has fortune cookie in it, it's going to be a kick ass day, right? Host all the host hype. Bree and I just started watching Attack on Titan and we're really liking it so far. I have seen like the first couple minutes of it on Netflix a few years back, 
that's the one with like the giants that like eat the humans right um i've heard a, i've heard that one's really 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 intense um but really liking it so far yeah do you guys have any like really good recommendations for any kind of like animes i feel like i mean studio ghibli is like such a good recommendation right put them teas on them pops oh <gasps> doing pop treats before heading out Ooh, puppy treats puppy treats here they come this is the best part <laughs> yo jp how you doing today Ooh, death note i have seen actually i take that back i have seen like half of death note that one was really cool oh my goodness come here we're gonna do leave it leave it <gasps> layla come here layla come here Layla, come here. Layla. She's like, no, I'm, I'm good where I'm at. Okay, let's at least get the eye boogie. And then Ellie just right behind, slowly sauntering in. Ew, girl, you got some eye boogies. Okay. Now you all, now you look wonderful. <laughs> all right. Leave it. JP, we were just talking. Oh, yeah, about JP's epic epic emotes the black mage emotes jp do you think you could uh throw out some of the jp wonderful emotes they are amazing see we could just have a whole conversation and the puppies would just know to leave it they're so good you guys are getting so good except layla keep an eye on layla keep an eye on layla yo mock tug my man dude popping in with epic sub love dude Oh my goodness, man. Five freaking months. What? <gasps> Mark, Mark, Mark. Get it. That was good. That was a good catch. Ellie. And for the Ellie bug. Yeah, you still waking up? She looks really tired. Are you snoozing over there? Did we wake you up for puppy treats? Get it. <laughs> and they're off. That was my five seconds of love with the puppies. And then they're back to wifey in bed. <laughs> Oh my goodness. But dude, Mock, thank you seriously so much. Welcome in, you absolute legend. It is always a good day when we get Mock in chat, when we get JP and Fortune and Suits and everyone, every single one of you damn amazing human beings just make my day so much. We're just going to be cheering coffee all day. It's a, I'm feeling really good today, y'all. <laughs> it's going to be a huge day today. I can feel it. Ooh, cowboy bebop suits. <gasps> I've dude, I've heard that one's really good too. I do gotta watch Cowboy Bebop. I always forget that one, but right when I see the name, like a huge light bulb goes off. Like, oh yes, you still gotta watch that. Yes, I do do want to watch Cowboy Bebop for sure. What else? Any um oh it's on Amazon Prime. Okay, Abby. Okay. When the souls bosses kill themselves that's when you get you got speech 100 <laughs> dude oh man the skelly boys from yesterday they were driving me bonkers just plain bro just plain bonkers save my channel points and head for the goal of mvp i don't think we've had a single person redeem mvp yet i know wifey has enough points to where she could but she was saying she wants someone else to be the first one to do it. So y'all got 50k channel points. I imagine Fortune, Zach, King are probably up there. They probably, King, do you got over 50 yet? Maybe Cage. I bet Cage is probably close to 50. But yeah, that, that, it's going to be an epic moment, Esther. All the love always. Mock, <gasps> Mock, you got close to 50. What? So mad props to you on your 160 days. I lasted, oh, 19 days in a row. I did see, I, I saw that when I was waking up, Zach. Um, dude, definitely take as much time as you need. The last thing you want is for streaming to feel like a chore and for it to not be fun. Um, honestly, I've, I've definitely, I've, I've definitely thought about like changing up my schedule as well to maybe have like a, an extra day or two off. So you are not alone, Zach. I'm, I've definitely been feeling maybe like a schedule change incoming, um, but absolutely like you never want streaming or hanging out with everyone or like anything like this to ever feel like a chore or like a job or anything. So whether you chill for, you know, a week or two weeks or three weeks or whatever, Zach, huge love for you, my friend. 
huge epic love big hugs get over here brother just you're amazing dude why are you so cool i learned it from you man i learned it from you <laughs> Ooh, new jojo being put on netflix i hear people all the time talk about jojo i've never i've never seen jojo but that one's really popular right they still don't have part four or five big sad i mean i i did watch Yu-Gi-Oh. does that count is Yu-Gi-Oh anime does Yu-Gi-Oh count as anime i mean Yu-Gi-Oh was pretty dope back in the day i used to watch Yu-Gi-Oh a lot the first couple seasons are still pretty badass Oh man, I gift out too many VIPs to have that many. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh is totally anime. It's fun. Dude, Yu-Gi-Oh, like, Wifey and I randomly watched it a couple, like, maybe two years ago. And it was still good times. It was a lot of nostalgia. Although the breaks, when they would, like, go into a commercial break and come back, there's a lot of, like, overlapping. Like, they could have trimmed the episodes down by a good chunk, but it's all good. <laughs> yo dj anime good morning and welcome in legend how you doing today dj Yu-Gi-Oh is the only true chad anime chad anime Just, is doesn't chad mean like bro is that what it means esther I, i'm so out of it in the i'm so out of it in the the slang terminology <laughs> i think chad like if they're a chad they're a bro right is that the same kind of I'm sorry. I'm so out of it. <laughs> Thanks for the shout out. I am good. That is awesome to hear, DJ. What you up to today? You doing anything super excited? Chad just means Chad. <laughs> Chad equals bro. Okay. It is the ultimate bro anime. I mean, y'all, y'all are my Chad. <laughs> y'all are my Chads. Y'all are my Chad fam. Big time. That's what it's all about. Just good vibes. I, d I don't even know where we're going with this. <laughs> Streaming more. Ooh, Cold Steel 4 tonight. How you liking it so far, DJ? Chad equals an alpha male. Hmm. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I'd classify myself as an alpha male. Because a lot of people say... I've heard some people say you're either alpha... <laughs> you're either alpha or you're a beta male, right? Like... I feel like there's there's more than just the two, you know? Yo, Muffin, how you doing, Moof? I thought Chad was a bad term. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just... I don't know. I, I don't know. Delta, a Delta male. What about a, a Bravo male? No, that's Beta. What what are other ones? What's What is C? A Charlie male? A Delta male? An Eagle male? We're just going down the phonetic alphabet. <laughs> Bree told me, oh, told me to say it. <laughs> Zach is a whoa. Zach, no. Zach is amazing. We love Zach. We got all the big love for Zach. Oh, Cold Steel 4 is great, full of feels and emotions. I am at the final chapter. <gasps> Do you think you're going to beat it tonight, DJ? And yeah, I know you've been loving it. I, if I could just complete games more in a timely manner, I would definitely throw a cold steel as like a, a series I would love to play. It's just, I mean, it'll probably take me all year just to play like three games, <laughs> which I mean, I'm cool with. Cause like, I'm not much of a game binger in and of itself. I like to kind of take my time slowly through it and then chat with, with everyone. So, but yeah. People who can just like, like fortune, who can just finish a game a week kind of thing. Oh my goodness. I also don't stream too much. Like I only stream like two to three hours, which feels like a lot to me, but I know a lot of other people here stream for like six hours and whew, I do not know how y'all do it. Reminder to play the surge sometime. I still recommend. Ooh, I think I do have that one on my list, Esther. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta are the first four letters. Oh, of the Greek alphabet. Aren't those also used as like um in colleges? What are they called? Um what are the the bro organizations in college called? You know? And the 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 I don't know. Frats. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Emerald. Frats. Like aren't a lot of the frats don't they use the Greek letters of the alphabets? are also spell tears oh and earthbound hey i know king is a big earthbound fan i have not played earthbound myself i think it's on my super nintendo classic though my little super nintendo 
Rats are all named after Greek letters. Cold Steel games are great. I would definitely recommend them. They're, I mean, I, I have a whole list of recommended games. <laughs> I just feel like I got so many I got to play. I definitely don't want to buy any new games. Like, I just want to go through my backlog for like 21, unless Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2 comes out or 16 or 16. Yo, Queen, welcome in. How you doing today? Happy, happy, happy Wednesday, my friend. Hope you are doing incredible today. Cheering everyone on with all the sippy love. All the good coffee vibes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Mindset Queen, thank you seriously so much for the follow. I really, really appreciate it. Hellhound86, thank you as well so much for the epic follow love. Big cheers and big love. I see Moof getting the sippy on. Hey, I love the sippy. I love the sippy emote. <laughs> I was debating for the little. Where is it at? A little Aerith sippy down here. I was debating using Aerith or using uh, Tifa, but Aerith is kind of cute. <laughs> oh, dude, Mindset Queen, what? Pogface, oh my goodness. Throwing out sub love too. <laughs> I really, really, really appreciate it. Hellhound 86, I'm having mind blown moments right now. What is going on? Hellhound 86 with epic sub love as well. What? Oh my goodness. Thank you both so incredibly much for the subs. Thank you both so much for the follows. Thank you both so much for being here. So much love, so much goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm I'm about to melt into a puddle of love. We want to do some nice for someone. Oh my goodness. Big hugs, big love, big cheers. Only good vibes, my friend. Um, I hope you enjoy the emotes um, and thank you seriously so much for being here. Like we just want nothing but love and good vibes and positivity and friendship and just high fives. Woo. <laughs> Epic high fives. Seriously appreciate it though. Y'all are just, I haven't even jumped into the game yet and I'm already being melted with love. <laughs> A new bitty badge. What? What dude is that Porto? Dude, is that Porto Zach? Oh my goodness. By the way, Zach, Porto did mention too. We got to get Zach back on the Porto podcast for round two, right? Oh, this is King, I never understood the Sipia emotes. Are they like a lurk emote? I think a lot of people have told me, King, with the Sipia emotes, they like. I've heard a couple people say they'll they'll use them as just like kind of say something. I don't want to say snarky, but they'll say something kind of like drop a fact and be like. I don't know. Or the the kind of like the the sipping of the tea, like the Kermit sip, right? Like, but that ain't none of my business, y'all. I have no idea. I just saw a lot of people, yeah, like the Kermit meme. <laughs> exactly. Oh my goodness. I, I just I, I saw a couple people have the sippy emotes, and I'm I was like, I wanna do I wanna do the five main Final Fantasy VII characters. What should Aerith be? I think Aerith was almost gonna be like holding a heart and love, but I like this. I like the sippy emote. I thought it was pretty cute. <laughs> you made my day. Oh, I will take all the love I can get. Big love for every single one of you. Hey, I see the piggy sippy. Yeah. Ooh, I see the Doro sippy. I wonder how many sippies I actually got. I know Ice has a sippy. I think Poppy has a sippy too. Oh, the only two I see. Maybe Doro names it different, does he? Oh yeah, he names it Sip. Maybe, what about Sip? I thought Poppy had a sippy one too, didn't he? Or am I crazy? I think it's gone. I mean, I need to remake one. Ooh, I do have some... I do want to do redo my bit emotes. I know I've mentioned it a few times, um, but I want to I was thinking about redoing my bit emotes to be Final Fantasy like monsters or like like not the characters, but maybe more of like the beasts. Do you think that would be cool? Everyone like maybe a Chocobo holding a heart, a Cactar doing something, a Moogle doing something um, like maybe a behemoth, a Tonberry. I thought a Tonberry would be good for like death or like karma or something you know um i think that'd be really cool fortune has a really funny one with like the moogle with with a bang emote 
a little a little maybe violent for me but something of that philosophy somewhere around there speaking of bringing the hypes and the good vibes spazitastic welcome in my friend how you do dude messes tonberry emotes my goodness don't even get me started messes tonberry emotes are just mind-blowingly good i seriously seriously love messes emotes they're just they're so good they're so good you redo them i want to double check do people who get the bit emotes keep the old designs too or do they get the new ones i think they get the new ones muffin um i'm gonna be 100 percent honest though like i don't think my bit emotes are the most splendid one i think maybe the only decent one is the chocobo one right but i was thinking of doing like hear me out everyone i was thinking of doing like a behemoth with like sunglasses on and a smirk like doing like a i'm a badass boss kind of face i thought that'd be that'd be pretty fun I'm, i finished writing the salmon and it was what i about why i like Ooh, sweets are always delicious oh that's awesome to hear golly hope or i'm happy you were able to complete it big cheers my friend who love the moogle i i i'll still like keep the the chocobo and moogle and tonberry and all of those um but i just want to like emote eyes them more you know Ma like make them more emoty you know i think i do want to do a chocobo holding a heart like that like a love emote i definitely think i want to do that yo easy peasy welcome in buddy how you doing today Ooh, start my new job today yo spaz you are gonna crush it you're gonna absolutely crush it in your new job my friend i am super duper hyped for you buddy streamers need to support each other my goodness big hugs for your mindset queen seriously thank you so much just for being here for the follow for the sub for the good vibes for the positivity for the support you know who else is also damn magnificently phenomenal Arif pop it in with sub love what dude my goodness dude how you doing today just stopping by to say hello oh and just whacking me in the face with sub love dude huge love for you my friend thank you seriously so much and playing dude playing wind waker if there is a single zelda game if there is one single zelda game i would love to play if just they remastered it re-released it it would be wind waker i've never played wind waker but i've watched a lot of streamers play it and it doesn't wind waker just look so beautiful I would maybe even say, I mean, I think Breath of the Wild's maybe like a little bit more in the artistic realm that I love, but Wind Waker is like right behind it. Has anybody here ever played Wind Waker besides Aerith? How are you enjoying it, by the way? Oh my goodness. Dude, I love Wind Waker. We could just talk about Wind Waker forever. Wind Waker is just, mwah. hey, easy beasy, the love. See, see, I love those emotes. The ones where they're like holding the hearts. I think those are just so damn cute. Have a good stream. Need to get ready myself. Nice to see you here. See you later. Big hugs for you, my. Ooh, I almost had a Haley burp right there. I did have a Haley burp. <laughs> Queen, big hugs for you. Thank you so much for stopping by, for all the love, for high fives, all of you. You guys are amazing. Seriously, thank you so much. Have not played Wind Waker, but have played all the other Zelda games. Love those games. Do you have a favorite by any chance, Hellhound? I would say, I mean, I, I've i only played Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, and Breath of the Wild, but Breath of the Wild is probably my favorite game of all time of like the last gen. And that includes God of War and Bloodborne and, and Final Fantasy VII Remake. Like Breath of the Wild is my game of the generation for sure my buddy told me yesterday i'm going in with him at one and staying until nine and i've played wind waker never got to finish it though dude if they if they remade it i would just i would drop everything and just jump into it i think wind waker is perfect in graphics and i haven't played it i love say seriously i love the graphics of it just that kind of style that's something nintendo does so well like they are so good at making these types of graphic looks that are i mean definitely more like cartoony or anime -y or like almost like pixar -y. and just yeah they don't need to be like photo realistic like uncharted or anything to just be so good you know i really 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 love that about them 
my goodness but alas way too late just been too long since i've stopped by dude Ari, thank you seriously so much for stopping by like i really i really 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 do appreciate it um seriously if y'all do not have not followed Arif, just go drop epic follows like one of the most outstanding legendary magnificent incredible streamers i've ever had the pleasure of meeting on twitch and y'all know i just love good positive wonderful people and Arif brings that in spades so huge hugs for you my friend you're amazing i really really appreciate you so much i just like nice awesome people and we got so many awesome people here have to ooh have to be ocarina of time i didn't like majora's mask so i don't i never had the nostalgia of ocarina of time i didn't grow up playing ocarina of time um so the first time i played it was a couple years ago but wifey grew up playing it and she loved ocarina of time um i i liked majora's mask i definitely liked both of them i thought they i really thought ocarina of time and majora's mask were so just like I just almost thought of them as like one game because I played it like back to back and and they work so well together. I haven't played any of the Legend of Zelda games. It's OK, Esther. We could still be besties. We could still be friends. It is awesome. If you do get a chance to play Zelda games, though, would highly recommend them. They're phenomenal. There, there's some great games in there. <laughs> Yo, got to look for Ooh, summer job tomorrow wonder what they'll be offering Ooh, do you have anything in mind you're looking for golly hey i see the grumpy emotes i love the grumpy emotes i love grumpy grumpy's amazing Earth is a legend indeed my friend big time Ooh, it's muffin you got a new computer <gasps> did muffin get a new computer did you get a new pc yo <laughs> I've played all of Ocarina of Time on N64 as a kid and on 3DS as a grown up. Dude, doesn't the 3DS version look so good? Like, I wish they would literally just take the 3DS version and just plop it on the Switch. You know how much money they would make from that? Like, because I, I don't like playing. I don't like playing games on little handhelds. Like, I prefer to play them on a bigger screen. I just always have. I've never been a, a portable game type of player. Um, so if they could just put it that whole ocarina of time 3ds on the switch yo dollar dollar bills y'all they'd be flying <laughs> man oh my gosh have we already been streaming for almost 40 minutes i think we'll jump into some demon souls now um sometimes i lose track of of chatting it's weird in stream labs because that in stream labs at the very top it'll show the time and with obs it's like right at the very 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 bottom so it's so like out of sight out of mind with obs it's a little bit different i look for a job from the same employer but i am trying to get a different job got to build that cv you know yes 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 golly yes golly dude n64 ocarina was my jam zach were you a big golden eye player i i never never had the n64 as a kid i was like way more of a playstation one playstation two like I was always PlayStation um, and I did have a Super Nintendo and I love the Super Nintendo, but man, everybody who had an N64 talked about GoldenEye. They talked about Ocarina of Time and Mario 64. And and I think Star Fox. I've heard a couple people. No, I think Star Fox is the one I'm thinking of the one for the Super Nintendo. I guess Mario Kart 2, like people loved Mario Kart as well yo breezy breezy hype welcome in how is the legendary breezes doing today hope you are always having an incredible day breezy i have the 3ds with the controller grip for it. it is so much better yeah yeah i have the xl version as well and just my hands and it's also the smaller screen you know but the grip i don't know if i've seen that i might have to look up i might have to look at that hellhound that sounds like it'd be a pretty solid idea Man, assuming I would get a hygiene pass, I wouldn't mind working at a nearby cafe. Hey, cafe could be fun, honestly. I think working at a cafe could be fun. Oh, th and there's something about the smell of cafe, right? Like there's just the coffee, the bread, muffins, muffin. <laughs> just all the man walking into a good cafe is just mm, it's it's something special, y'all. Now I'm wanting to go to cafe. <laughs> it's quickly poking my head and as to prepare for Nico. What is going on, buddy? How you doing today, brother? Glad the rolling stutter issue got fixed, dude. Thank you. Seriously, again, huge amount 
for helping with that um yeah like before i had that for anybody that didn't know i had like a little bit of a stutter in the background but nico helped so much with helping or with fixing it so huge hugs for you friend dude thank you seriously so much i really really do appreciate it kind of changed a couple other things so hopefully hopefully everything looks good sounds good um i'm i'm always i've mentioned it before but seriously everyone if you notice anything at all any recommendations or improvements or anything y'all got for me please throw them my way whether you want to post them in chat or send me a whisper um I'm, I'm very much of a we're all in this together mentality and if we can help each other like that's what it's all about so nico big high fives for your brother oh yeah <laughs> but i'm really happy to hear that y'all seriously y'all help me so much none of this would be possible without every single one of you yo Marin, welcome in how you doing today i am to build oh my cv want to prove that i can be good at customer service hey there you go there you go oh it's nico good afternoon is it good afternoon nico are you in the is nico are you in the uk i'm trying to remember where where you're at nico whoa wow I just turned my headphones on and I, I guess we were having an epic boss battle right there. My bad. <laughs> 3.51 p.m. Is that UK time? Hey. Let's see here. Just gonna make sure I didn't miss any comments. Definitely, I'm definitely trying to get bit better at like not missing comments. So if I do ever miss like a message from any one of you, I'm super duper duper sorry. Um. I'm still trying to get used to the whole multitasking thing. Even a year into streaming, I still struggle with the, the multitasking thing. <laughs> oh man. Oh, got it from eBay. I'll take it. I'll take a look at it, Hellhound. That seems like something that'd be pretty cool. Oh, just about to leave for. Hope you have an even better day, friend. Breezy, you're amazing. Thank you always so much for the good vibes. Seriously, thank you so, so much. Oh man, it happens. Ser like when... I don't know like i feel like there are certain games we we're talking about this a couple days ago and i'm sure all of my streamer friends can understand this i feel like there's games where that require a lot of focus like souls games and then there's other games that are like you know maybe maybe like animal crossing or stardew valley where they're a little bit more chill and you can kind of like 50 percent chat 50 percent the game but there's definitely moments in, in demon souls where if i don't like do this and i'm like i'm just playing the game i'm not reading nothing if i don't do that i will definitely die <laughs> i feel to be young in here i was a mid 2000s kid grew up with halo 3 hey there you go Dude, Halo 3 was my jam too. I, that was like the first game I got when I got my 360 and Halo 3 is fun stuff. Man, are you going to be streaming later today, Nico? Are you? I know you're taking a little bit of a break, right? Miss Viking with Breezy all day. I would love, honestly, to jump into some more chill games like Animal Crossing or something like that. Like those are definitely in the back of my head for sure. I am finally, finally recovered. Dude, that is seriously awesome to hear. Twitch, we need Nico streams. But only, I, I was telling Zach, like, only if you, as long as it doesn't feel like a chore, as long as you feel good about it, as long as you're, like, really excited for it. But, yeah, definitely taking a moment and uh, and taking care of yourself. That absolutely is what it's all about. Homo Razors Go! Dude, what an epic name. Thank you so much for the host, my friend. Big cheers for your bromo. Been off for seven to eight days. Dude, doesn't it feel like when you're, if you stream like a couple times a week, if you take like a week off, doesn't it feel kind of like forever? It's not forever, you know, cause it's only been like a week, but when you stream like multiple days a week and then you just take one single week off, like five days into it, you're like, holy crap, I haven't streamed in a long time. When in reality, it's only been like five days. <laughs> Ooh, what's down here? I think we should continue this way. Oh, I think I might play Stardew Valley. People seem to love it. And I think it's about time to check it out. Yo, I've watched a lot of Lolly Lichen playing Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley looks adorable. I have no idea 
what it's about or kind of what to do in it but everyone does say they love it and i mean if lolly like was playing it like of course it's good right she has she picks amazing games two mental days off then became seriously physically exhausted three days into that had an awful fever taking a coat oh have you gotten results back nico dude seriously wishing you good vibes man definitely take care of yourself take a nice warm bubble bath dude bubble baths cure everything take a nice warm bubble bath you know relax chill you're amazing and i'm just such a believer in that like always no matter what always take care of yourselves no matter what a bubble bath sounds pretty good though <laughs> hey hope you've been well glad to finally get a chance to chill here i feel like i never catch you bromo it is a pleasure to have you in my friend epic cheers for you i'm super excited to have you here in chat to have you here chilling that's what it's all about is just good vibes and positivity i'm feeling good today my friends oh man stardew valley <laughs> Can you, can you, or let's see, can vouch for Stardew. It's really nice chill time. Yo, I seriously think sometimes, let's see, I still waiting. Oh, for the result for it. Gotta make the foodies catch in with you all laters. Sounds like a plan, Nico. Eat something delicious. Get some yummy in the belly. I hope you have a kick ass day always, my friend. And huge epic love for Nico as well. Y'all have not followed Nico. You know what to do. You know what to do, my friends. He is outstanding. Could truly, could truly not recommend him enough. He's amazing. I have that problem when playing for honor. If I don't play for a day, I have to get used to the game again to even do anything. <laughs> oh my goodness. Named all my animals after people. Oh, in Animal Crossing? I have no idea, honestly, what the whole... I, I guess I've just never played games like... What? Wait, I was just charging this. Okay. I guess the battery's dead. My bad. <laughs> Anyone willing to help me get to pure white character tendency? I don't... How do you get to pure white character tendency? All right. I guess... Uh, battery's dead. Recharging it. In, I was charging it in uh, in the in the PS5. I was charging it before the stream. I guess maybe it didn't charge, but it was on power saving mode. Hmm. It was probably my fault. I take responsibility for everything. Yo, Starbuncle, how you doing today? I would, this is where I would grab my second controller, but I don't have a second controller. So I guess I'm just slowly unwinding my USB-C cable. There we go. Man, I should have got that like charging thing. You can like charge multiple ones on like the little things you set them on. I had that for the PS4 and no joke. That thing was amazing. I love that. You have to invade me and let me kill you. <laughs> mm, sounds sounds like a good first date. <laughs> I don't think I've, I think I got invaded once for the first time a couple days ago. And then the person just ended up leaving. Like nothing even happened from it. So... Pretty sure I followed him as soon as we raised him the one that oh rated yeah we rated Nico what was it like two weeks ago three weeks ago hmm <laughs> I love Stardew Valley dude I guess or what I was saying is I guess I just haven't ever played games like that like Minecraft or Stardew Valley or Rust or Ukulele Jam hype. <laughs> Maybe give the controller a moment to charge. Hey, yo, I am so down. What should we jam to? What should we jam to, Lolly? Give that controller a rest. Hey, I am always, I am always down for some good ukulele jams. Since Lolly redeemed it, what's the latest thing you've been learning? What was the latest thing I've been learning? I was playing last night i was playing it's so weird like when i'm off stream and just noodling around i play so many things but like when i'm on stream i get just like total brain farts you know what i was playing actually tell me if you all recognize this i was playing this for wifey
I think this one. I think it was that. Yes, you got it so fast. <laughs> I don't know the next part. You're a bad banana. Something like that, right? We're playing that. What else was I playing? I was playing the Pink Panther tune. She likes that. The music, tickety talk brain. Oh man, honestly, I just, as long as I can hear the song in my head, then I can like figure it out on the ukulele. So how's your experience so far with the game? I'm loving it so far, Ramsey. I, I like it's, it took me a it took me like two three weeks to really get the feel of it but like once i got the feel of demon souls i'm really enjoying it it's a ton of fun honestly man what else was i playing My goodness ramsey dude thank you seriously so much for the follow welcome in welcome in my friend oh i want some muffins song of storms zach that's that's a lot to ask that's a lot to ask for zach should we do song of Zor storms for zach or should we do vamo a la flamenco for lolly hmm song of storms or vamos a la flamenco hmm I mean, they're both pretty badass. They're they're both pretty awesome. Mm, should I? It's a lot of ukulele jam for one channel point redemption. Y'all are awesome. It's all good. great what's the what is the other one there was one i was playing a couple days ago that was from ocarina of time it was what was it oh what was it i think it was Zel how does zelda song go how does the zelda like her melody go oh i can hear it is it this one that one is it that one what's carrying Carrion! Carrion Ray! Carrion Ray! <laughs> Yo, Carrion! Oh my goodness! We just got raided by the legendary Carrion! What? Oh my goodness. An absolute pleasure indeed, my friends. Welcome in, Raiders. How is everyone doing today? Oh my goodness. Oh, do I see a Ryman? Do I see, dude, Wolf Scout? Welcome in, my friends. Yo, right, raid hype from the legendary Carrion. Carrion, how were you doing today? What were you jamming to? What were you playing? Cody, welcome in. Final Fantasy VII was played by ukulele. I wouldn't complain. Hey, we got another Final Fantasy VII fan, Cody. 
Yo, Final Fantasy VII is my favorite game of all time. Epic shout out to the magnificence that is Carrion playing. Ooh, Death Stranding. I know Carrion is a big Death Stranding fan. How are you enjoying it so far? Have you beaten it yet? I feel like you've gotten pretty far on it. It is the best one in my opinion. Cody, get in here and give me a big ol' hug because I 100% it is my favorite game of all time. It is absolutely my favorite game of all time. So if you are a Final Fantasy fan, if you're a Final Fantasy 7 fan, did we just become best friends? <laughs> Dude, Cody, thank you seriously so much for the follow, my friend. Carrion! Seven months! Oh my goodness! Seriously, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you so much for the raid hype. Thank you so much for bringing in incredible friends. If y'all do not know, by the way, my name is Zef. We're just playing some Demon Souls right now. We were jammed some ukulele vibes and then we got epically blasted upon from the magnificent Carrion. <laughs> I see the Sipia emotes. How's everyone doing today? Everyone that popped over, how's everyone doing today? Even if you didn't pop over, how is every single one of you doing today? Ooh, was it the Aerith alert? Oh, I think I saw. Yeah, for Cody was the was the Aerith. Yeah, I changed a couple of the alerts so that some of them are more Final Fantasy VII remake. -y. How's that guitar? Oh, <gasps> sweating intensifies, Rye man. I actually have it in my calendar for recording it after the stream today, so it will be sent to you today. I I am super sorry. I I just I forget, man. I don't. I have like 12 kilobytes of RAM memory. Give me a break. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Cody, favorite Final Fantasy VII character? I mean, I don't know if I have a favorite. I, I mean, I don't, honestly, after Remake, probably Barrett. I thought Barrett was phenomenal in Remake. What about you? Do you have a particular favorite? Nah, it's just the acoustic bass. There we go. As, as what's his name? Davey504 would say, right? <laughs> I made sure a bomb didn't blow up a city carry in. Every time you drop in, just epic hype just blows up because you are so damn amazing. <laughs> How long do we have for you today, Zeph? Um, I was thinking about going maybe like, like hopefully trying to hit that three hour mark today. Um, I don't think we have too much going on today, wifey and I, so could try to stream a little bit longer. I've been hella busy too. I'm just bugging. Oh, how was class, Ryan, man? Here we go, the nicest guy streaming again. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> you are too kind, Irish man. Welcome in, my friend. Hope you are doing incredible. Let me see, I'm just gonna catch up on chat, make sure I didn't miss any anything. Let's see. Always, I'm always, I'm trying to be extra good about not missing any comments or any, uh, dude, is that a dinosaur wave, Cody? Is that a Pika dinosaur wave? I love that. Y'all ever got really cute, adorable emotes? Always post them in chat. I always need to see all the adorable goodness. Yo, Daisy Reaper with the epic host. Welcome in, Daisy. How you doing today? Yuffie is my favorite. Ooh, in remake, Root. Yo, they did Root and Reno so good in the remake. Um, but yeah, I cannot wait for Yuffie. I th I feel like Yuffie in remake part two is going to be like... Tifa with a long range weapon, like Tifa fast with a long range weapon. Doing good. That is awesome to hear Daisy Reaper. Epic cheers for you, my friend. Always all the love big time. Congrats on the move to OBS. It's been honestly, it hasn't been that bad. I mean, it definitely took like a full entire day of moving everything over, but I'm kind of getting I'm kind of getting the feel of it. It's definitely very similar but a couple things are different but i was telling king the other or i was telling king yesterday in streamlabs obs there is uh like a control z function that like goes back to your last it's like a, a reverse button i miss that so much that is like i miss that button so much that was like a stream labs obs just as someone that uses photoshop and premiere pro all the time it's just so baked into my head to use that miss the un yes yes it, you just don't realize how much you use it until it's not there right we have five hours for this whole semester to do a big production stuff we do our first hour professor wants us to teach two other programs for editing wants to teach us Ooh, which other ones like da vinci or like uh final cut or something they made reno into a beast on the remake if you need any help with obs i am 
I'm very familiar with it. I super appreciate it, Cody. I've had a lot of a lot of incredible friends reach out and just like, if you need anything, I'm here for you. So definitely appreciate you all so so much. I'm I'm of that mindset. Like I've always been of that mindset. Like I really try to dive in and and play around and tinker with stuff myself before reaching out for help. I kind of like try to be like, okay, I truly have no idea how to do this. Then I'll usually go to like YouTube or Google. And then if not there, then I usually reach out to like Ryman or Suits or King. So I super appreciate it though, Cody. My goodness. I wondered over the XLR mics and mic uh, mixers. Wondered over the XLR. Oh, were you like thinking of getting an XLR mic yourself? By the way, it's a big stress. I am not too familiar with Avid Ryman, but I, I do know a little bit about DaVinci. DaVinci's phenomenal. DaVinci's like really, really, really phenomenal. I pretty much have always used Premiere Pro myself, but like a lot of people say DaVinci is like really, really, really good. And it's free. I think it's completely free. Ooh, wanna do some podcasting in the future? Hell yeah. Just got my XLR mic and mixer. Ooh, which one did you get, Cody? And if you need anything, I do. Ryman is the audio king. Like Ryman knows audio. Ryman's a boss at audio for sure. All right. I th hopefully controllers decently charged. We'll see. Let's see what we got now. Oh, absolutely. Zach epic love and shout outs always for the legendary Ryman. That is what it is all about. Rockville, RCM Pro, and Soundcraft Notepad 5 Mixer. I don't know if I've ever heard of either of those. Um, but that is super exciting, honestly. I, I, I'm i definitely in the wanting to do a podcast in myself realm as well. They just seem like such a fun, fun way to collab and talk to people on a very long form level, you know? I feel like just as I'm getting older, I just really appreciate long form content more than just like little sound bites, you know? want to make my podcast anime and video game shout me out or oh anime and video game themed yo that could be pretty cool just kind of talk about like video games and anime and stuff yeah i think it's really important to do something that you are like genuinely interested in researching and like kind of being in the know the know of you know the know of you know <laughs> a sucker stone shard this was a pretty cool boss yesterday. The leech monger. That was a pretty fun boss. I love for me. I don't know if I can take down a boss one or two times, then they're a fun boss. If it takes me like 50 tries, maybe not as much a fun boss. <laughs> Ooh, and D and D I've never heard or watched any D and D, but man, people love dungeons and dragons. Um, it'd be fun to like, at least pop in and maybe like watch or, or like actually, uh, just kind of watch uh, a D and D playthrough. Can't talk about audio about you. And then you shout me out messed up, <laughs> dude, Zach, you are kick ass, man. I appreciate the hell out of you, brother. I just love, I just love seriously hanging out with every single one of you. We need to do like a discord, like live chat thing where I don't know, where like all of us get on discord and just like talk and kind of like a not a podcast but maybe like like five or six or seven or eight of us just all in there just chatting about whatever like a just chat a real just chatting session you know such a D, D nerd Ooh, i think they're really really cool from what i know about D, &D it sounds really really fun like it'd be a fun thing to jump in and explore sounds crazy but fun you see the achievement for the beginning tutorial boss in this game i so my buddy suits Suit sent me a YouTube video of him beating the Vanguard at the beginning. And yeah, he got a bunch of goodies and then, and then got squashed by the dragon. But that looked really cool. Can I climb up there? That looks very Demon Soul sus. I don't know about that. Yo, Swad, welcome in, buddy. How you doing today? Shooting the shit crack open the beer. Hey, yo, I haven't had a beer in like three weeks and it sounds good. It sounds delicious, but I'm, I'm trying to be good this year and, and not have any alcohol. So just need to hop into fireside sometimes with us. We are in there pretty often. Yeah, 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 man. The fireside discord, seriously, if you guys have not followed or joined the fireside discord like that, 
that is truly where the party is at the fireside discord is is just like incredible community of just so many incredible streamers and so many incredible friends are in there so yes y'all have not joined fireside definitely would recommend to jump in oh my goodness is is the command not working for it oh no damn it obs why are you not working yo hand elf welcome in how are you doing today i am doing absolutely incredible how are you doing today hand elf for anybody that does not know we raided hand elf a couple days ago and she is just a magnificent streamer um could we get is the command working oh it is working maybe i'm just blind i'm always blind <laughs> could we get an epic shout out for hand elf as well um an absolutely outstanding streamer uh she was playing kingdom hearts the other day and huge final fantasy fan huge souls fan like i know we got some big final fantasy fans here i know we got some big demon souls and bloodborne and souls fans here so if y'all have not followed hand elf like just go destroy that follow button on her channel she is incredible um but so good to see you hand off hope you're having an incredible day we're just kind of jamming kind of vibing out some i guess demon souls if demon souls is ever a vibe <laughs> dying in demon souls is a vibe in and of itself yo kingdom hearts for the win hell yeah i haven't played kingdom hearts in a long time but i did i do remember i really enjoyed kingdom hearts 2. i thought kingdom hearts 3 was pretty good too i thought one and two are still probably my favorite three was fun though maybe maybe it'd be fun to do a kingdom hearts stream again too sweet just looking at the wii Aerith. i love 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 Aerith and hand elf cosplayed as Aerith. so need i say more friends if you are not following hand elf just go give her all the love she's incredible got kingdom hearts 3 on release i got both digital and the disc Ooh, yeah i got the di i got the pre-order like i think it was the super edition of it it was i don't know what are all of your thoughts on kingdom hearts 3. i thought it was fun i i feel like the best part about the kingdom hearts games is like all the different worlds you can explore you know like that for me is is what makes it like going into little mermaid world what are we already poisoned demon souls being demon souls Ooh, we got a big hammer though what dude this looks like i would not want to be moping around in this the dlc is phenomenal i don't know if i've tried the dlc actually I'm so excited for Kingdom Hearts 2. Have have you ever played them? Oh, I hear it's the best one. Have you not ever played the Kingdom Hearts games before? The second one is pretty fun. What do you think of Demon Souls so far? It is honestly, it took me a couple weeks to like really kind of get into it. It's really fun, but it's tough. And I'm, I'm like, of course it's tough. It's a Souls game. Like everyone knows the Souls games are tough, but like, I guess I was just not ready for it. Um, cause like I was playing Bloodborne before I played Demon Souls and Bloodborne is, mm, Bloodborne is, Bloodborne is life. Probably my favorite game I played all of last year. Um, have you played Bloodborne Handelf? Cody, have you played Bloodborne before? Man, Bloodborne was so much fun. I feel like it's like Demon Souls, but just faster. I have played it. Did you like it, Cody? Were you a pretty big fan of it? OMG Bloodborne is like a fantastic game. I only completed it last. What? Me too, Handoff. Oh, hell yeah. I think I completed it like last day of November as well. Oh, that's that's awesome. It is so good. Like so damn good. Like I. Oh, man, we could we could just talk about Bloodborne for like the entire stream. It was so much fun. I really want to replay it. I, I don't know, like. I love to jump it like to finish a game and then like jump to the next game so I can like constantly be playing new games and kind of going through the back log of games. But there was definitely a big part of me that was like, I really want to replay this. You know, it's such a good game. The combat in it is just mm. and the story after you beat the game, like if you dive into the lore and like read a lot about the story, it's so cool. It's just a cool game, y'all. I saw this really cool. Um what is it called displate the displate those like metal posters i saw a really cool one yesterday of of, of the bloodborne hunter i almost got it Ooh, thinking of replaying final fantasy 7 the original do it 
That is, if there is one single game that's like a once a year playthrough, it is absolutely Final Fantasy VII. That is like the one game in my soul I have to play every single year. <laughs> Blocked the term Ryman, what? It is very addictive. I haven't done the DLC for it yet though. Oh my goodness. The DLC, arguably the best part of the entire game. Like the bosses in the DLC is, yeah, I would highly recommend to do the DLC if you get a chance to. Um, probably has my two or three favorite bosses of the entire playthrough. Dude, there's like so many items here and we're walking so slow. What is going on here? We can't run, right? I guess he just got to press circle and then he can run. I... Zeph being Zeph. Zeph being Zeph. Don't you just hate it when you're just walking slow and you're like, man, we're walking so slow. And then you press circle and you actually start running. No comment. <laughs> so you can add a username as a blocked term. What? Man, I do. Are these? I, I don't know if those things are like enemies or if they're, are they enemies? Oh, they are enemies. This game has so many moments like that. Where you think things are good and then you just walk into an enemy and they kill you. But yeah, Bloodborne is life. Bloodborne. I think we have actually a lot of people here. Friend or foe. <laughs> it's so cool too. Cause like when I, oh boy, that is definitely not a friend. That is definitely not a friend. Dude, no, no, no. Come on, dude. You're going to get squashed or chopped in half. We got to heal. Maybe he didn't hear. Maybe you're right, right, man. Choose your champion. Oh my goodness, dude. What the hell? What are these? I don't want to attack them. I just want to grab the item and run. Oh! Oh no. No, 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 dude. No, dude! Well then. Demon souls being demon souls. <laughs> so friend, I don't think that was a friend. I, I think that was a, that was a little sus to be a friend. <laughs> yeah, those things are ridiculous. My goodness. My goodness. There's a lot of really cool items over there though that I was trying to get. Hmm. Oh man, it's like really getting hot in this room. Maybe that's just me. I'm like feeling like I'm going to start sweating. It's all this fire in here. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Blocking the term King Fink King. Don't be blocking my friend King. Oh, or I guess we'll be lit on fire. I feel like a lot of what people were saying about Demon Souls, there's like a level in it that is has a lot of these like really linear paths right here that are super easy to fall off and die on. I feel like it might have been this level a lot of people were talking about. If only we had a jump button, but this game does not work that way. Shad face. I wonder what all of this Skyrim Skyrim simulator. Part of me wants to ask what all of this is that we're trudging through, but the other part would rather What's it called? Ignorance is bliss. This is a ignorance is bliss type of moment. King and I are just banning chats of ourselves. Hey, I mean, y'all got the mod power, right? Flexing. That's poop. Oh, goodness. Maybe. Maybe. It's very dark. Like, this is a very dark area. Looks like you're walking it. No comment, my friend. No comment at all. You're probably not wrong, but still no comment. <laughs> mm. I wish I had a way to turn the lights on, though. I'm modding my friend's stream and I spend 90% of it fighting with a Nightbot. Hey, yo, Icky Nuggets. Welcome in, buddy. How you doing today, Icky? Yeah, I, I feel like I'm fighting with... Uh, my new stream or the new stream elements bot stream labs seem to play a little bit nicer i think it's just kind of the setup phase you know we're in the setup the the honeymoon phase of it 
<laughs> this place. I feel like every time I go somewhere new in Demon's Souls, someone's like, oh, this place. I remember watching Mr. White doing this part. Man, I'm just so jelly that Mr. White and, and King and all of you guys are just able to like cruise through these so fast. I definitely, my mouth gets the better of me for sure sometimes. Oh, maybe through here. Yeah, let's not stare too long at it. Oh, hey, is that fog to like maybe a boss battle? Do we have to like break this off maybe? Hmm. I wonder if there's a ring we can equip that like stops poison so we don't have to like keep using poison items. Slowly restores HP over time. That could be cool. <gasps> Gave up on Dark Souls 2. Oh no, King. Why? What was, what was it? What was about Dark Souls 2 that just stopped you? I feel like I've heard a lot of people have, they have feelings. Equip the toilet paper. <laughs> it's bought at. I will rough it up with my fingers. I feel like a lot of people have feelings about Dark Souls 2. Oh, there they are. I'm like, I know there's some other items around here somewhere. Dark Souls 2, like, it's so interesting. I feel like so many people say they love Dark Souls 1 and 3, but just there's really not much, much love for DS2. I wonder why. I wonder why. I heard a couple of people say, like, just the the level design of it. Is that it? it reminds me of... <laughs> Oh man, we're getting all the poo comments here. I equipped that poison ring and we're still we're still losing health. What in the world? Maybe we need restores HP. Maybe this like counteracts it. Hey, there we go. I like that ring too. I like I like free health. Free health is good. Don't get me wrong, it was fun, but I just lost touch with it after a while. That's fair. And I mean maybe you'll come back to it later, or maybe it just kind of wasn't meant to be put a ring on it i already put a ring on it i guess putting a ring on it didn't even help yeah the same thing happened to me with uh the same thing happened to me with god of war king like i just i don't know like right when i started playing god of war i wasn't into it a cat ring hey um but then after a couple months when i came back to it i fell in love with i fell in love with uh God of War. It was great. So here's a question for chat. Why did Apple skip the iPhone 9 and Microsoft skip Windows 9? Is this a a dad joke, Ryman? Yo, Matt, the boss man. Dude, welcome in, buddy. How you doing today, Matt? Because 9 is 6 upside down and no... <laughs> what? <laughs> it is not a joke. I don't know. I mean, Apple's naming scheme drives me crazy. Like the amount of times I've said, why did Apple name something that like, yeah, I mean, don't even get me started on the iPad naming scheme. Like the iPad naming scheme gives me a, whoa, is that another person? Holy, whoa, <gasps> I didn't dodge. He, I, I pressed circle to dodge and it didn't even dodge. Okay. Cannot dodge in the sticky poo. Got it. Got it. <laughs> doing good, man. Hope you are doing well. I am doing amazing today, Matt. Today is a good day. I can feel it in my soul. Today is an absolutely good day. I'm doing amazing. What about you, Matt? How are you doing today? What you up to? You got anything super exciting going on? Does anybody, is anybody doing anything super exciting today? I know we got a lot of friends working. I mean, work. Well, I, I'm not going to say work can be fun. I think we all have similar feelings on work. On, you know, the corporate work life. Brr. What? And we're getting raided. <gasps> what? What? Oh, we're being double raided by Mr. Dandy and Decoy Mantle. What in the world? Yo, dude, welcome in, friends. Oh, I see Dahlia the monkey. Yo, Rayonetta, welcome in. Drowning Fish, welcome in. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we're just being just thrown love left and right. Yo, welcome in, my friends. D candy. D candy, my favorite kind of candy. Oh, my goodness. Were you both playing Bloodborne? Were you both co-oping Bloodborne? Yeah, hell yeah. 
oh and i know dahlia is also playing bloodborne as well yo blood we were just talking about bloodborne a few minutes ago yo do we got some bloodborne fans in here dude they are so cool dahlia seriously if you guys have not followed decoy manta or mr dandy incredible magnificent wonderful friends please 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 go give them both epic love and epic follows they are outstanding streamers and outstanding friends yo chris welcome in panna welcome in my friends oh my goodness come splutter i hope you are having an incredible i think i i almost thought i said that wrong <laughs> welcome in bluntler hope you are having an incredible day let me just make sure i, I didn't miss anybody unit crash welcome in my friend oh oh drowning fish brutal welcome in guys oh my goodness y'all just throwing decoy manta and mr dandy love all at me epic cheers for every single one of you magnificent humans all right sounds like a plan crash all the love my friend this community is amazing giving love back we receive dude mr dandy is amazing decoy manta is amazing dahlia the monkey is amazing we got it's some absolutely incredible friends here goodness we love you zef dude huge hugs huge group big hugs of love for every single one of you seriously guys thank you so much for the raid thank you guys so much for being here thank you so much for always bringing good vibes and positivity like i really 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 appreciate it oh my goodness an anonymous cheer gifting some bitty love hey was it suits was it suits <laughs> Dude, seriously, thank you so much. Anonymous cheer. Thank you guys all so much for being here. We just want nothing but good vibes and good positivity always, my friends. We love you, Zeph. I love you, Dahlia. Like, seriously, do we even... I'm about to just melt with love for every single one of you. That's what it's all about. Just friendship and good vibes. Mr. Dandy, Decoy, how was your guys' stream? How was Bloodborne? How far along in Bloodborne are you? Dahlia, how far along in Bloodborne are you? Were you able to take down the Blood Starved Beast yesterday? I don't know about the song. I'm going to skip the song. I got this new playlist today. It's kind of like, it's like lo-fi, but it definitely is more ambient as well. Tell me if y'all like it or if we should go back to the lo-fi jams. It's definitely more ambient and chill. Love is raid and raid is love facts. Icky nuggets. Yo, Agoratasm. What is going on, buddy? What are you thinking about the chicken police? The chicken police? I don't know if I know about the chicken police. Do inform me on the chicken police. The stream was awesome. Hey, I mean, if it's from Mr. Dandy and Decoy, it's got to be awesome, right? It's got to be awesome, right? Bl Blutter. Oh, I'm like struggling to talk today. Blutter. I'm sorry, my goodness. Yes, I killed it after crying and screaming. So the Blood Starved Beast is so interesting, Dahlia. Um, it's so interesting because a lot of people say the Blood Starved Beast is like one of the hardest bosses in the game, but some people, like some people went through it pretty easy. Like I think I defeated the Blood Starved Beast like first or second try, um, but I've heard some people say they really struggle with it. That's the best thing about Bloodborne is like every boss everyone has like a different experience with um that's what just makes bloodborne so much fun is we can talk about it and be like dude father gascoigne was terrible for me and you're like i got through father gascoigne no no problem dude suits welcome in buddy blutter is fine with the happy pigs emote a hey, love happy pigs dude's incredible hey heli thank you so much for the follow welcome in my friend all the love my friends dude father g first that's what i'm talking about dahlia papa g took me like eight or ten tries to destroy he was he was like a nightmare and somehow you got a first try it's just because you're a boss you're so badass <laughs> disassociation welcome in my friend Let's start beast takes me between one and 50 K attempts. <laughs> Dude, blood starved beast. A lot of people really were not having BSB, but the two times I've gone through bloodborne. Yeah, I got BSB. I think first try both times. Like it's so weird, but like Amigdala and Ibridus, those ones took me like 30 tries. I could not get those ones down. It was like the bigger bosses for me. I really struggled with. Yo, Heli, welcome in. Hope you are having an incredible day. We'll jump back into 
demon souls here but like when we get raided we just gotta give all the love and give epic shout outs big hugs big big love for again mr dandy and decoy manta you guys are incredible thank you seriously so much my friends thank you for bringing the friends over thank you for spreading the love and positivity we'll jump back into some demon souls goodness <laughs> Dude, BSB, yeah, everyone has feelings about BSB. Have you, how far have you gotten so far, Dahlia? Have you defeated, um, oh, who was, who was after BSB? Who was after BSB? Was it, oh, Amelia. Have you defeated Amelia yet? An anonymous gifter just gifted a sub to Healy. Oh my goodness, what? Thank you seriously so much. Whoever this anonymous gifter is, thank you seriously so much. And Healy, you got some kick ass emotes, my friend. Definitely all the love, my friends. Baba G took me days to beat the first. Dude, I died so many times to Papa G. Like, I. I was raging so much, but something happened when I was fighting Papa G. It was when I got, when I figured I was able to parry him and just the light bulb like instantly went off. I'm like, oh, this is how you play Bloodborne. Gotcha. Stopped after BSB it was just farming and stuff. Where's your farm? Where's your, uh, your farming spot? I got some, do some amazing things here, son. Ooh, what do you got suits? Um, Oh my goodness, are we getting poisoned again? This game is just killing me right now. Let's go back to this one. There we go, there we go. Gonna try to level up before continuing. Nice. Man, Bloodborne is... This This happens. When we get on the Bloodborne conversation, we just keep talking about it nonstop because it is so good. I'm really happy you're playing it. I'm really happy you're liking it. It only gets better, I promise. Yo, Sleepy Bear, dude, welcome in, buddy. How you doing today, Sleepy? Are you bringing the Sleepy vibes with you? Especially walking through the poison water. Dude, this doo-doo water is not my jam. I, I was... Mm, mm, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. <laughs> dude, oh, how far have you guys gotten in uh, your Bloodborne co-op playthrough? By the way, that is such a cool idea, honestly. Like, playing the two of you through it like i think that's such a cool idea i know suits has mentioned wanting to do like some kind of multiplayer stream like that i think that'd be a really fun idea to do like a co-op stream right disassociation with the epic follow oh my goodness thank you so much welcome welcome my friend only good vibes and positivity and love here and some poison doo-doo water but we don't talk about the poison doo-doo water <laughs> we beat the dlc today oh hell yeah about to head to the final few bosses of the game oh my goodness hell yeah did you guys struggle with any of the dlc bosses it's been so much fun back's almost better hopefully by this weekend i can hit the gym get those sleepy muscles yo sleepy's got real muscles i'm jelly of sleepy muscles can we get rid of this thing i don't think so Oh, you are so kind, Dahlia. Big love and hugs for you. Thank you always for bringing good vibes and positivity. That's what it's all about, my friends. Just giving all the love to everyone. With Lawrence and Orphan, dude. A certain motherless pale boy. I, I was talking to uh, Hand Elf earlier. Um, where she was saying she hasn't tried the DLC yet. I was saying, ooh, that's the best part. The DLC is probably the hardest bosses of the game. Yeah, especially with Lawrence and Orphan, but it's so much fun. I hated Lawrence, though. Like, I freaking hate Lawrence. I would rather fight Orphan than Lawrence. I did not think Orphan was... Holy shit! What the hell? What the F, dude? Let me just insta-kill you right here. Oh, dude, I got boinked so hard right there. Oh, my God. That wasn't even a boink. That was a chop you in half with my... Freaking demon souls. You, We should just have a command that says, like, Zeph, you just got demon sold. <laughs> oh, this game. 100% agree, Lawrence is the worst boss in the game. The flaming armed gentleman. Hail say... 
That command came because the first ending we chose on Bloodborne was the slug ending. Oh, just light me on fire, why don't you? Yeah, dude, Lawrence. Oh, man. It's it, in Bloodborne, I found the big bosses to be the most frustrating bosses. Like, but smaller bosses like Orphan or um or like maria or i guess papa g was tough but i felt like i didn't quite know the game at that point but like the big bosses just ugh, they're a pain in the butt it's not canonically called the slug ending hey if ryman says it's a slug ending it's a slug ending right it's it would be so interesting if they are going to do a bloodborne 2 if they do a bloodborne 2 do y'all have any like preference or ideas of where you think they could go with the story i feel like i suits and i talked about this a little bit in his stream um i feel like i wouldn't want them to just go straight and like redo the exact same thing but having like maybe a different hunter or i sound like daisy do i sound like daisy today <laughs> or ryman sounds like daisy hey daisy's amazing obviously you know that tis why you married such an incredible, incredible person. Typing them out in Discord. When I got the slug ending, oh, I thought it was the bad ending, right? Because it doesn't even like say specifically or like, oh goodness. Wow, we can really not dodge or anything here. We can just like pretty much run. Okay, let's try to not get chopped in half this time. Yeah, when the slug ending happens, they don't quite delve in too much into detail on it. They almost kind of like inception you know they leave it so much up to interpretation which i love i love endings like that where it's very like much left to interpretation but ooh, a war scythe what dude what is that oh i don't think i could equip it i think i sent it to storage a war scythe dude that sounds pretty dope hi my eyes were opened we have eyes decoy we can see <laughs> Hail the good blood. Dark, dark moon grass. I don't know if I've ever gotten that before. Is that like better than the other grass? Look at all this grass we're getting. We should start our own shop. <laughs> A little bit of Washingtonian humor. I think we got all the, all the items. I just want to avoid that thing over there. Get away. I think it was the plate pre press out that did, did it for her. Man, I, I cannot wait till all this COVID stuff is over. Like, I just, I really, really want to go places again. And yeah, King Breezy and I got to hit the patio together at some point. Patio, I feel like, I, man, I feel like my eyes are going out. Like, maybe is it the font in OBS that's smaller? I feel like I'm struggling to read some stuff. Maybe I'm just getting old. I'll buy for me stuff. Hey, uh man it's it's crazy too because like the whole marijuana thing in washington it's been what has it been like eight years at this point since it's been legalized and like it pretty much is dominated by like one or two big grow companies like there's a couple smaller ones of course but there's one out here called fat panda and they've just like dominated the they're like the costco of washington weed it's it's super interesting the whole marijuana business in, in Washington and elsewhere is, is fascinating. Hey, I think we're going the right way. Maybe, maybe I think we're going. Hey, we got somewhere. We got somewhere. <laughs> the Costco of weed. You heard that right. You heard it here first. The Costco of weed. <laughs> I've had the font automatically go super tiny on OBS and my age was felt right. Oh no, did I seriously just fall from there? I just fell from grace. But yeah, like I feel like the OBS, it's it's just like, I'm like, what did you say? What? <laughs> I feel like my eyes are going out. Maybe I'm just getting older, man. I'm not even that old. I'm like 27. You know? <laughs> Have you completed Dark Souls 1? It's the only one I never finished. I got stuck. This is the first... Ooh, a thief ring again. Interesting. This is the um, second Souls game I've played. So I played Bloodborne, which was mm, best game ever. 
Well, second best game besides Final Fantasy VII, of course. But yeah, I, I think after I do Demon Souls, I want to do Dark Souls 1. Well, after I do Demon Souls, I want to finish Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight is amazing. Has anybody here played Hollow Knight, by the way? Do we got some Hollow Knight fans here in chat? Here in Canada. Oh, we have shops everywhere. Yeah, same here, Captain. They're like, they're everywhere around here. Dude, Barbies, welcome in, my friend. Dude, thank you seriously so much for the follow. Huge love. Hope you are having an incredible day, Barmies. Oh, heard amazing things about it. Yo, if you have not played Hollow Knight, Hand Elf. Oh, Dahlia, if you haven't played, Hollow Knight is so special. Like, it is like the Dark Souls of platformers. Yes, it, it is so aesthetically pleasing. It's... I love Hollow Knight, and I I cannot truly believe that it was only made by three people. Beat it a while back. It's so beautiful. Like, games like that, like, there's something so special about, like, indie titles like Limbo or Inside or Journey or Hollow Knight or Celeste. These, like, smaller made games that are just so beautiful. You know, I mean, not taking anything away from AAA games, but, like, they really are beautiful. They are. Yo, Herbo Minita. I hope I pronounced that right. Herbo, welcome in, my friend. Hope you are doing incredible. Thank you so much for the follow. I super duper appreciate it. Oh my goodness. Hope you are having a phenomenal day. Let me just catch up on chat, make sure I didn't miss any messages here. Um, I'm trying really good to be better about not missing messages. I wouldn't mind that we Costco here in New York. <laughs> Oh, dude, Helly, I super appreciate. Yeah, um, I was really happy with my emote artist, like how she did the emotes. They're pretty much like the five main Final Fantasy VII characters. So I super appreciate hearing that, though. New Jersey, where I'm at, we just legalized, but it's only regulated weed, and there's no such thing in New Jersey yet. So it's basically still illegal. That's what's so... <laughs> oh, am I younger than you and, and Decoy? Well, I mean, like on Twitch, we don't ever have our like name or like our ages anywhere. So as far as I'm concerned, everyone is the same age as me. So that's some of you are like 10 years older, 10 years younger. <laughs> Meeting two wrapped up. How you guys doing? Dude, suits. We got you in chat. It is a beautiful day, my friend. It is going good today. We're just kind of talking about Hollow Knight, Dark Souls. Costco of weed, <laughs> all sorts of crazy conversations. Seth and chat, hello, Shadow Fury, my man, dude. Welcome in, Shadow. Dude, Vendor, welcome in, my friend. Swain, welcome in, my friend. Hope you all are doing incredible. Ultimate, welcome in, dude. Oh my goodness, hope everyone's doing incredible. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm going through. Good thing about indie games, the game isn't, tre yeah, like a cash cow. Dark moon grass. I have no idea what that is. I don't know if I've seen that before, but yeah, I mean, I, obviously, as we saw with cyberpunk, like when investors kind of dabble in it and they're like, we need to get this game out ASAP so uh, we can make some money. It usually does not go over the best. I think it's really important for, I don't know, like a games obviously need money to, to get developed, but I think it's really important for them to not just push it like that. Please don't mention your ages. I turned really old last week and makes me sad. Icky, wh what is really old? 33, 34, 22, 28. Hey, we had someone in chat a few weeks back that I think they said they were 62. And I'm like, dude, get in here. Hell yeah. We are all friends, no matter our ages. We are all friends. That's what it's all about. That's why I love Twitch and streaming is just because like, we all kind of come together for the games, you know, like the game. I was talking to this to Porto on his podcast, like, oh, no, I there's a mosquito. This is what happens. Zeph tries to chat about stuff and then what? What the hell is going on, dude? Dude, you're not even dead. Get up. What is going on? This is what happens. I start chatting about something and Demon Souls are like, I don't think so. Kill him now. Alaskan mosquitoes. Dude, those things are huge. My God. I'm just not a big bug fan. So bugs in me are not, are not besties. Dude, but Shadow Fury, my man. How are you doing today? How was your stream yesterday? You absolute legend. 
For anybody that does not know, we raided the legendary Shadow Fear yesterday on his comeback stream, and dude was absolutely killing it. Like, destroying it. Like, smashing it. So good to have you back, man. Like, there's not enough good words in the English dictionary for how freaking amazing Shadow Fury is. Freaking insane. And thank you so much for that raid. Oh, hell yeah, dude. That is what it is all about, right? Friends, 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 helping each other out, hands down. I've seen mosquitoes bigger than those. Say it ain't so. I don't need those nightmares. <laughs> but seriously, like, I rating is one of the best parts in my opinion about streaming like especially when people get hyped for the raids when people when you like jump in and they're like oh we're being raided it's like the best the best feeling ever i love when we raid someone and they get like excited for it because oh my god we're gonna get chopped in half go go no Freaking demon souls, man. I felt like I was doing good too. <laughs> Rip. I got ripped in half right there. Death plus or what? Dude, I, I wonder what even death plus we're at right now. Got to focus on work your work. We'll be lurking and working. Mr. Dandy, dude, again, thank you so damn much. Thank you so damn much for the double raid, for bringing your beautiful self over here, for bringing the love and positivity. I really, really, really appreciate it big time, my friend. Big hugs for you. Big cheers for you. Big, big love for everyone. <clears throat> Ooh, man, I've been, I've been Haley burping today. By the way, that's absolutely what I, my entire vocab for the word burp has changed into Haley burp. I'll be at work and like do a little burp and it'll be like Haley burp. My coworkers are like, what? Like you don't. You're not in the Twitch, no. <laughs> the feelings I had after it were nothing but gratitude. Absolutely, Shadow Fury. Dude, you're an absolute legend. Like, seeing the love you get, seeing the love you give just makes me so happy. I love more than anything seeing my friends succeed and hit their goals. And like that, a thousand percent is what it's about to me, you know? Like, we're all in this together, this crazy ass thing called life, this crazy ass thing called Twitch. We're all in this together. And having friends to be behind you, to support you, it really, 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 really does make everything so much better. Like I always say, like playing video games are fun, but having an awesome community to hang out and share it with is way better. A million percent. Oh, dude, suits. I super appreciate the lurk, man. Thank you seriously so much. Only three. We're doing well. Hey. Yeah, my, uh, my chat bot is... Yeah, the deaths are not working. I mean, the thing with the death pluses, though, is this game naturally counts your deaths. So, like, is the death plus even even warranted? Unless we all just want to make fun of how many times I've died, which that's fine, too. <laughs> Dude, big love. Big love always for you, Icky. Big love always for you, Icky. You're amazing. I appreciate every single one of you really so much. Yo, Urbo, thank you so much for the lurk as well. Seriously appreciate it really really do i dropped a huge raid on someone who was trying to make their comeback hell yeah after being away for over like a year i was so glad to do that dude that is awesome see raids are just raids are so much fun raids are so much damn fun and being streaming myself and making community is the best part exactly that's that's what it's all about right like let that's why we play video games on stream or do whatever like chat on stream music on stream art by the way, did y'all see Crisis artwork that she posted um, that she was doing on stream a couple days ago? I think I saw she posted it on Twitter earlier and it was like, I love, love, love Crisis artwork. She has incredible artwork. I just love, I just love very artistic and creative and inspiring people. And we got a lot of them here. This is my time to bow out as well. Decoy, nothing but all the epic love for you, my friend. Thank you so much for the epic raid. Thank you so much for being your beautiful self. I hope you have an incredible day. And seriously, seriously, 
Y'all are not following Decoy Manta and Mr. Dandy. Y'all are missing out on just two of the most incredible humans on the planet. Definitely go drop them epic love if you haven't already. And you as well, Sweat. I just saw that while I go do some snow removal. Take care, my friends. You stay safe, man. I know it is a little chilly in Canada. Just a little bit. <laughs> so dress warm, my friend. How do people feel about Cyberpunk debating redeeming that raid raid hype if if the person is still streaming? Raid hype is always there, Starbuncle. I'm like, if you if you all want to redeem raid raid hype a thousand percent, I'm always open to raiding new streamers or or raiding raiding anybody. So well almost anybody. Hopefully not like a terrible mean person, but good people. I like good people. I like good positive people. I heard Cyberpunk was on sale, wasn't it? Isn't it like like $30 for like the PS I, I wonder why it's $30, but like isn't it like $30 for like the PS4 version? Hmm. You're the best at fantastic to watch and talk to. Your energy's infectious. Oh no! So infectious, I got chopped in half again. What the F is going on? Why did they want to kill me so bad? What did I ever do to them? I'm just here trying to pillage the goodies and they're just trying to chop me in half. Why do I even try? Why do I even try? Yeah, $30? I mean... Backstab sir. Backstab sir, do you mind? I'm just trying to pillage the goodies and the poop water. Mind your own business. For real. Rude. And Reno. And Elena. Any Final Fantasy 7 fans get that reference? I used to say that to my friend like years ago when I was in school. He'd always say, because we we're big like Final Fantasy fans together. And every time he'd say rude, I'd be like, and Reno. He always got a little giggle out of that. Man, it's so crazy when you think about just like friends from high school and just like as you grow up, like how many of them, if not all of them, like you lose contact with. I guess it's also my fault for, I mean, I, I like once, like two days after I graduated, I moved a thousand miles away to a different state. So part of it's probably my fault, but sometimes I definitely think about like high school friends and just like, I wonder what they're doing, you know? I'm also one of those crazies that don't have like Facebook or anything. So like, I don't keep track of them there, but like there's definitely moments where I'm like, I wonder what this person is doing. I hope they're doing well, you know? Yeah. I'm definitely off the, I struggle with social, using social media. Anybody else here like in that similar boat? Proud of you for no Facebook. I mean, does it really count those suits if we also have a, if I also have Instagram? Cause like Instagram's kind of, kind of the same, but I, I did delete my personal Instagram and I only have it for like the Zeph one on there. And I probably should post more on there. I know my bad. <laughs> Yo, Hazard, welcome and bring in all the flexes. I will take it, my friend. Dude, how you doing today, Hazard? What is going on, my friend? You're an intellectual for not having Facebook. <laughs> Facebook is... Uh... But Facebook and Instagram, they're the exact same thing. Like, if you have Instagram, it's, it's literally... They're the same company, right? But yeah, like, oh man. That's when I, so I was on Porto's podcast like a week ago and we went in a whole conversation about social media and I was like, I know social media is so important for, for creatives or content creators or, you know, people that want to get into Twitch and YouTube and all that. But like, I really struggle with it. Cause like there's half of it's like, just like all the privacy stuff. And the other half is, yeah, social media is a whole thing in and of itself. Insta has less toxicity. Yeah, Instagram is interesting. Why? I mean, it's so interesting because Wifey grew like her entire business. Oh my, go away. Stop trying to kill me and kill me. Jeez, these guys are crazy. It, like Wifey grew her entire business off of Instagram. So it's kind of ironic when I'm just like, yeah, I don't use Instagram, but. Ooh. I'm right, homie. How is your day so far? Well, aside from that, <laughs> oh, 
Oh, what? <sighs> Aside from that, it's going amazing, Hazard. I hope you are having an incredible day as well. But my God, between the poop being impossible to run through and these guys just like, oh, die, Ugh, die, Ugh, die. Demon Souls is being Demon Souls. So I think Ryman is saving me. Ryman is pulling me out of the poopy water and giving us some puppy treats. Zeph only fans. <laughs> Y'all would not want to see Zeph only fans. <laughs> Should we do some puppy treats? <gasps> puppy treats. Anybody? Puppy treats. Where are my pups at? Where are my pups at? Zeph only fans is just a picture of him and his dogs. A thousand percent right there. <laughs> a thousand. That's yeah. Just the puppies. Puppy treats. I got puppy treats. My goodness. Okay. We got Boogie. Come here. Where's Layla? Layla. Come here. Puppy treats. Dude, maybe. Here they come. Here they come. My goodness. Layla. Boogie man, come here. Ellie. Ellie. Okay. Ellie. But okay. Should we do Ryman? Should we do leave it's or should we do catches? Hi, Ellie. Yeah, you so cute. You so cute. It took him a minute. Hold on. Hold on a second. Oh, she's like, I'm dropping down right there. Hold on. Let's get rid of our little thing right here. Make it a little bit cuter. There we go. Puppy, Ellie, come here. Do a leave it. Hey, I come back to doggo hype. Well, Ellie doesn't leave it, so we'll just give Ellie hers because she's being so adorable. I love them. All the fluffy love. Woof. Munch. Munch, munch. Okay. Can we do leave it? Can we do good leave it? Can I get a what? What? <laughs> Layla's just like zoning out into the universe like, this is my life. This is my life leave it oh no 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 leave it yet an eye boogie i had to get okay booker layla leave it leave it do you see boogie's eyes i saw that flinch get it <laughs> oh oh layla can you get it there you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Was that yummy? Come here. Was that yummy, buddy? He's like, thank you, Rye Man. Keeping me all fluffied up. Yeah. What? What? What's that face? You see this face? They're pretty cute. <laughs> Man, okay. Y'all, I need opinions. I got this new music playlist on Spotify. So Harris Heller just dropped a new uh a new ambient playlist called diamonds what do y'all think about this i feel like this is like i i dig the music obviously like i love i love piano music and stuff but i feel like this is a little chill should we maybe go to some more lo-fi something maybe like this or y'all did y'all like the ambient kind of kind of background music i dig it it's so interesting too because i go into like some people's channels and some of them are just like like bumping like dude every time i go into poppy foobar's channel he is just playing some bumping like electronic music and i love it but and then other other streamers will have more of the like laid back chill kind of vibe right like lo-fi hip-hop by chilled Ooh, i don't know if i've heard of that one by chilled cow dude poppy foobar I love poppy man like poppy just yes if y'all got the poppy emotes definitely post the poppy emotes poppy like has inspired me just poppy might be like the most pop by, between poppy foobar and money benjamin those two have just like inspired me to like really 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 want to stream they were like such huge inspirations right out of the gate so nothing but all the love for poppy foobar and money benjamin and just every single one of you incredible friends here yeah the poppy mario cosplay hell yeah <laughs> oh my god i love poppy dude poppy's so cool they have a live stream on youtube oh it's 24 hour and all dmca for Ooh, what's it called chilled cow 
I'd be down for to explore. I mean, I, I really, really love stream beats. I really love Harris Heller and what he's done with alpha gaming and, and his and stream beats and like his music. But I mean, I would totally be down to, oh, okay. Maybe I have heard of them before. I'll totally check them out. Chilled cow is great too. Oh, I just got it pulled up, Cody. Yeah, like lo-fi hip hop radio beats to chill and sleep to. You know, I never used to really listen to Oh, dude, Captain Avocado, I super appreciate it, my friend. All the love for you. All the love for you, my friend. I used to, um, I never really listened to lo-fi music until I started streaming, and it just really does make amazing background music. It's anime girl with headphones. Yeah, and the, and the pencil. My goodness. Let's see if maybe we can actually make some progress today in uh, Demon Souls. I'm feeling like we're doing pretty solid. We just got to not get backstabbed. Backstabs are bad. In case anybody was, was unaware, backstabs are bad. Let's try to not get backstabbed. Comes in clutch for doing stuff on OBS and, oh yeah, Sony Vegas. I've never used Sony Vegas before. Do you like it, Cody? Is it pretty solid? And Photoshop, a... Hey. I love Photoshop. I, it took me so long to, to to move from Lightroom to Photoshop, like, because I was so used to Lightroom and Photoshop was, like, so different. But after kind of diving into Photoshop, yeah, Photoshop is pretty cool. And I still feel like I only know 2% of it. Same with Premiere Pro. Like, I still feel like I only know 2% of it. Oh, and it's on Spotify. You need to check out Game Chops. They have a fine... Oh my goodness. Is it, is it copyright free suits? Do you know they have copyright free? I mean, I guess would, would final fantasy covers be copyright free DMCA free Photoshop is more manipulation for photos like Boris room or oh yeah, composition. And that's the thing too. Like I've always been like at least like photography wise, like when we'd go out and do a lot of, we still do, but we used to go out a little bit more and like do photography stuff with our pups. And I was always so much more into um, like getting it perfect in frame and then just like tweaking the colors and stuff after in post. Whereas like Photoshop, yeah, you can like, you know what? Let's add Jupiter behind the puppy dog in the photo. Yeah, <laughs> you can do crazy stuff like that. Oh, pigs use game chops. Okay. I'm I'm gonna check them out. I'm gonna check out game chops. The incredible streamer who I absolutely love. Um, her name's Sarah Key. She has this really cool, like Kingdom Hearts kind of like lo-fi background music that is just so good. So good. She's also an incredible streamer as well. Man. I've been using Bryn working with Oh, using my green screen for stuff. Yo, I've been getting into some more green screen stuff too. Once I kind of figured out how to get the green out in Premiere Pro, a mind like a huge light bulb went off and I'm like, dude, what if we did some uh, green screen stuff for like channel point redemptions? Maybe it could be pretty fun. I don't know. Part of me wants to have like, kind of like when you redeem a channel point, maybe like a certain GIF pops up or like a like a gif or something plays but the other part i'm like i see a lot of streamers do that and i don't know if i want to necessarily go down that avenue same with like sound alerts what do you all think about those sound alerts where you like spend 50 biddies and can do the you know <laughs> all the crazy sounds the farting sounds the screaming sounds the a part of me have i've thought about doing something like that but the other part is like I don't know. I know a lot of people like listen in the background and kind of lurk. Do they really want to hear lo-fi and demon souls? And then all of a sudden hear like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Or put chat on the green screen. That would be interesting. That would be pretty cool. Yo, can we just get this? Come on. Unknown hero soul. I will take it. Really depends on the personality of the streamer. Yeah. I feel like like I have pretty good humor so like I can take funny gifts and and fun stuff like that but the other part is like I really do strive to try to make everything look as super ultra ultra high quality as possible I'm kind of like obsessed with trying to make everything as like super high quality as possible so I don't know 
Definitely kind of in like middle ground there. You can add stickers. We can use and it gets painted on your screen and makes noises. I'm super open if anybody has any cool like channel point redemption ideas because I'm definitely hitting like a wall of like, I don't know what to do with them. Um, so if y'all do have any cool channel point like thoughts or anything like that, pretty please let me know. I know a streamer who has a bunch of them for zero bits and they get sp exactly disassociation. Like that's kind of what I wouldn't want to happen, you know? I definitely wouldn't want them to be like too spammy. But yeah, I think personality of the streamer probably plays a, a big part. I am a Russian bear fart alert scarcer. Bear is scared of farts. <laughs> Interesting. The stream is a representation of you. Hearing a fart on your stream would not be expected. Right, right. Like imagine if we we're just fighting a boss and then all of a sudden someone does like a fart noise. <laughs> It'd just be so out of left field. Can we? Yeah. Legendary warrior soul. God, this just looks so not yummy. Not good. Oh, dude, Zach, thank you always for the lurk, brother. I super appreciate it. Like, huge hugs for you, man. I hope work is going amazing. See, don't do the text to speak one. I know I know someone who did it for one bit and got spammed with emotes all the time for it. I was thinking about doing text to speech one Starbuncle for like maybe like subs or donations. I've seen that's pretty common. Or if you like uh like do some bits or something or a donation, it'll start reading off to you. So I was thinking about that. See, I have some work to do, homie. Have a great stream, Hazard. Dude, thank you so much for stopping by. I super appreciate it. I hope you have a kick-ass time doing the work that you got to do. All the love for you, my friend. Thank you so much for hanging out, buddy. Let's see. I'm the same old Zeph. You and I are similar in our presentation taste, so I know where you're coming from. Right. Right, Mr. Dandy. It's like, it's like you want to... I don't know. It's like you want to have the option open, but at the same time... I don't want to say it cheapens, but kind of like, I don't want it to cheapen the presentation maybe, but I guess it totally just depends on the, on the streamer, right? One streamer follow has a jump scare channel point redemption. I love it, but it is also not your style. That was the other one I've seen. Who was it? I think it was Haley. I think, was it Haley? She had like a jump scare one and yeah, she'd be like really intense into a scene, like really focused. And then someone would play like the hundred bits for a jump scare and just ah could be fun but definitely a stylistic thing you know yeah that is her style and she kills it I miss Haley I hope she's doing amazing like talk about just inspiration and just magnificent human being my whole style is innovation and keeping things clear like channel point effects on screen adds to my kind of cheese. Yeah, cheesy, but fun. Exactly. If only I could somehow cheese my way into finding where I'm supposed to go here. Let me just consult my map that is not here. I've, let's see. For me and my dream sound alert is deja vu from the anime. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I've heard that one before. I had someone exploit the donation text to speech to say some really not nice things though, but luckily auto mod got rid of it. Man, there are just assholes out there, you know? Yo, spam, welcome in, buddy. How you doing today? Um, I think, yeah, I think there's just, man, there's just really, there's some people who are just assholes, you know, who just like, we create a fun, positive atmosphere. We create good vibes and they just got to come in and just say not very nice things and not be nice human beings like we don't need any of that we just we bring good vibes always right everyone yeah she does shotgun a beer but that is not zeph either the other thing too is i stream or i mean i guess she streams pretty early but yeah if, if she gets the level five hype train i think she does shotguns a beer which beer does not even sound at all good in the morning i mean like 2 p.m 3 p.m it sounds yummy but like seven at eight o'clock in the morning chugging a beer is not my idea of a good time <laughs> oh god oh no no we're not gonna die here everyone don't let me die help me out chat don't let me die send me all your don't die good vibes oh no well this was a mistake 
We got this. I feel good. We got this. This is a crap. This is a crappy part of the game. <laughs> you get it. Oh, no. He did not think that was funny. Ooh. You got this. Thank you, Starbuncle. I appreciate it. Hold on. Let me let me make sure I'm catching up. Oh, dude, we're going to we are. so Oh, crap. We are so going to die. I don't do I not have any more grass? Fully heals and status ailments. Yo, we should use that. Even my poor friend over here is like, dude, help me out here. Zeph, help me out. This is so tough to navigate this area. Oh, dude, disassociation. I think you engage really well with the audience. So having sound interrupting your flow of conversation would take more away than add. But that's not the case for other streamers. I really do appreciate that. It's, it's definitely... A struggle that I'm always trying to improve on is trying to have this balance between playing the game and also talking to everyone. I'm sure everyone probably knows at this point, but like a thousand percent, I try. I'm definitely a just chatting streamer. I'm a just chatting streamer with a sprinkle of ga gameplay. Been lurking a while, but what a lovely, fun, and friendly stream you have here, Zeph. I'll be back again. Oh, Barmies, if you are heading out, my friend all the love i hope you have an incredible incredible day thank you so much for being here thank you everyone for being here like the idea that y'all just want to hang out with me and just chat about whatever and watch me die hilarious hopefully hilariously left and right is makes my day the yeah, officer mostly been catching up on sleep hope you're having a good one i hope you are as well spam all the love my friend Saw a channel point redemption that can transform you into something. Ooh, it was turned into a pickle, Rick. Ooh, a coffee stout chugging a coffee. That could be fun. Oh, no. Yes. Yes. I think we're going the right way. I think we're going the right way, everyone. Huzzah. Getting backstabbed for a choke. Let's see. How can you eat? I, right, Starbuncle. It's really hard to see in here. Or an Irish coffee. I'm honestly not a fan of Irish coffee. Like, it's it's okay. But, oh boy. It's okay, but like, it's so sweet. I feel like as I'm getting old. Oh, no! No! We were doing so good. I feel like as I'm getting older, I'm really struggling with like enjoying sweet things. You know, like I'm much. It's like my taste buds have changed for sure. Sleepy has returned from the shadows. Yo, stouts are delicious, man. I, ooh, y'all are making me just thirsty for some more coffee. I'll cheers to that. All the coffee vibes, all the coffee love, all the coffee goodness. Coffee's good. I like caffeine. Man, this is, man, this, am I going to have to like turn up the brightness for this single part of the game? See, I switched to them a few years ago. Like beer tastes like crap now. Oh, light beer. Honestly, I, there's a lot of, there are so many great distilleries here in the Portland area. Like I've been so spoiled. Like I literally only drink craft beers. And so when I'll go over to like wifey's grandparents house, um, they'll be like, Hey, you want a Bud Light? And I, I mean, of course you free beer is always the best beer. So of course you say yes, but like, yeah, it's, it just tastes like water. It really just tastes like water, like carbonated water. I'm like, what, what is this? This is beer, but I mean, you could probably drink more of it. So my God, where, do, how do I get back over there? Who put the, who put a labyrinth in the middle of a dark, decrepit? It's okay. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Even he's like, screw this. <laughs> you want a Sprite cranberry? <laughs> Yo, the first time I ever got drunk on anything, Cody, was on, it was like cranberry vodka. And I was like 15 at my friend's house. And it was so terrible. It was like truly an awful experience. I got like so wasted and then I had to walk home. I had to like walk home the next morning, like beyond hung over. Oh, it was terrible. Would not recommend it at all. I've never been drunk. Honestly, like, I don't think you're missing much. Uh, that's a big new year's resolution. New year's resolution for me is to like not have any alcohol this year. 
Um, I'm doing good. You know, we're 20 days into it and I'm feeling good. The walk, dude, it was the walk of shame, sleepy. Uh, like, and I was walking and just like the world was doing this. The whole world was just shifting as I'm taking every step. And I'm like, this is terrible. Why do people do this again? Right spam though. Like this is, I don't even know where to go over here. I'm just like trying to follow the shinies. Shots of fireball after we get back from fishing. I do just fireball. I don't like fireball. Fireball is so sweet. It literally just tastes like those cinnamon Jolly Ranchers. Man, I don't drink, but I'm sure the military will change that. Hey, as long as it's, I mean, I want to say drink. Well, yeah, drink responsibly, you know? Like, I, I don't, like, I'm all for, like, if y'all want to get, you know, shit face and <laughs> drink your hearts out and all that, like, of course you do you. Just stay safe. Don't drive, you know, and just, and just be, be careful, you know, like, just because drinking is legal does not mean it's safe. Oh my God. No, get away. We just found somewhere new. Get away. Yo, turbo drive. How you doing today? No! We're not going to explode. It's okay. It's okay. The walk of shame when you've been to a costume party is hilarious. <laughs> Dude, Turbo Drive. I hope you were doing incredible today, man. My goodness. I'm doing good today, but like this level of Demon Souls, man. Demon Souls is being Demon Souls on me. But I'm doing pretty solid, though. We're just trying not to die, man. This is a tough part. It's like a whole maze. It's like I just got plopped into a maze and then they turned all the lights out and filled it up to my knees with with yucky doo doo. So very interesting part of the game so far. <laughs> I am doing good. Dude, that is awesome to hear. I'm happy you're doing good. I hope everyone's doing good. Like I always say, nothing but good vibes and good love for every single one of you magnificent humans. Sure, once I got sent somewhere, drinking will be limited due to in... Let's see. In case of an attack or something, don't need intoxicated people with guns. A thousand percent agree. A thousand percent agree with that, Cody. And I mean, I'm, I'm very, like, libertarian in the idea, like, I'm just, you know, let people do... Like, as long as you're a consenting adult, let people do them. And the end, you don't hurt anybody, like, you know, do you kind of kind of thing. Umbasa. But at the same time, yeah, you know, it's definitely want to take care of yourself. Definitely don't want to be too intoxicated. Alcohol is so weird, y'all. Like alcohol is so deadly and so dangerous. And it's just so acceptable culturally and in, in our lives. Like alcohol is, man, alcohol is way more dangerous than, you know, People, a lot of times, people tend to think it is. Yo, Mr. White. Dude, how you doing today, buddy? Good morning, everybody. How are you doing today, man? Every time I see your beautiful face, well, beautiful username. I always get excited, Mr. White. Dude, I'm doing amazing today. How are you doing today, buddy? Oh, look, I got some points to spend. Ooh. Turbo Drive's thinking, what, what, we, what do we got some channel points to spend on? What are we spending, Turbo Drive? You'll feel fine one second, then boom, you see your friend that has mastered after image technique, right? I think we're kind of going the right way. We just got to like find that bridge again. This is a terrible level, y'all. Demon Souls has been such a, a fun but mixed experience for me, I feel like. It has really been fun, but I definitely feel like there are some level designs that are just... I don't even know if difficult's the word, just more like annoying, you know? Oh, raid hype. Oh my goodness, Turbo Drive. Did we just get raid hyped redeemed? Ooh, hell yeah, my friend. We'll probably have another like 40-ish or so minutes of streaming, but dude, hell yeah. Who, who is, uh? okay, looks like we got the name on there. I'm gonna pull him up in Twit or in my browser so I can save him and hell yeah, dude. I want to say before raid hype just because of the image. <laughs> Dude, raid hype? Seriously. Oh! We're going to have to go get some more grass. Oh, 
We're not going to get anything done today. <laughs> Maybe, you know what? I just need to get good, right? We just got to get good. Dude, this is a tough... This is a, such a tough area, Mr. White. Am I the only one? Or, or do I just, like, suck at this game? Please do tell me, everyone. Do I just suck at this game or... Or is it just a tough... Yeah, F this level. <laughs> There's definitely some tough parts, for sure. This level was hard. Definitely noticed in some spots that this was from softwares. I totally agree, Spam. Like, it's crazy kind of going from what a lot of people say is, like, their peak game, like Bloodborne, to Demon Souls. Still really great. Still really enjoying it. But there, I'm definitely noticing some level design stuff that's just more annoying than anything else but i am still enjoying it don't get me wrong like demon souls is still really fun i'm i'm oh Haley burp <laughs> definitely still digging it a lot uh thief ring there we go if i was playing this i would suck too it's dude it's it's not easy it's interesting because like it feels like crowd management that's like the most difficult part of the game you know I definitely feel like crowd management is is difficult like the bosses really are not that bad like the bosses are are decent um but definitely crowd management y'all like when yeah when there's just a lot of enemies and, and the game's pretty slow so you can't necessarily just like run away from them or at least run too fast dude brian man thank you so much for the lurk brother i super appreciate it endless love for you my friend Endless love and good vibes always for Ryman. This is the best by by the way, anyone. For anyone that has not played Demon Souls, this is the best part of the game. It seems so far that I've learned to farm for some souls and to farm for grass. Good little spot for grass farming. Yay! Chop him in half with the big old mighty sword. See my gigantic buster sword I'm wielding? <laughs> the deadly butt stabs indeed the deadly butt stabs indeed yo starfish how you doing today buddy ghost eye how you doing today my friends cloud I, I agree cloud sword is definitely better cloud sword is life we do have a what is it item discovery that's what that's the ring we want good morning my friend dude how is legendary ghost eye doing today starfish how you doing my friend I mean, grass farming is, it's not too bad, but I will definitely say like the grindingness of demon souls. I'm definitely feeling it. Although there was a little bit of blood vial farming and bloodborne. So it's all good. I mean, I mean, you're not wrong, Cody. Yo, I really wonder if we're going to see more of Zach in uh, seven remake part two. I am doing well. How about you? Ghost eye, ghost eye. We got Ghost Eye in chat. I got to be doing marvelous, right? Seriously, hope you're doing incredible today, my friends. I'm doing good. Whoa, that was a lot of bolts. I'm doing good. We're just kind of farming for some goodies. We're tr I was trying to go through five. What is it? Five, two. That is a crappy area. Little dad joke. Demon Souls dad joke. <laughs> My goodness, semi rough morning with work. So thought I'd drop by for some positivity. Starfish always here for you, my friend. You are breathtaking. You are marvelous. You got this today. Do not let the workday crush you down. You got this, my friend. It is a happy Monday, not a Monday. It's a happy Wednesday. Indeed. When they showed him, I kind of teared up. I wasn't super crazy about the. I don't know how much to talk about that. I know that's definitely spoiler territory, but I will say whoever we're talking about, um, I wasn't super crazy about the voice acting from him, um, but it's all good. It's all good. Sorry. I'm trying to like not spoil anything for anyone that has not played seven remake. You're breathtaking. Everyone in the stream is beautiful. You starfish are breathtaking. But yes, I do agree. Everyone in here is beautiful. We only bring good loves, good love and positivity. That's what it's all about. And dying ridiculous amounts in Demon Souls. 
that was my favorite in crisis core you know i actually have not played crisis core but i did watch like a movie cutscene thing of it on youtube it was like four or five hours long and it was it was it was it was good there was definitely some some of the stuff with like genesis that i like was not super crazy about but overall like i mean it definitely showed uh, so much of the human side of zach and i mean zach is zach is zach zach's amazing you need to play it it's so much fun they need to release it on playstation 4 how in the world have we still not gotten it on playstation 4 or the playstation store or a remaster or something of it like how <laughs> oh my goodness he it's healy following us again healy welcome in my friend hold on let me see let me make sure i pronounce this healy perez kutra 24 hopefully i pronounced that right thank you so much for the follow my friend welcome in hope you are doing absolutely stellar sauce zach are you sure zach are you sure you're a human are you sure zach i don't know i think zach's a superhero i think zach is a superhero what do y'all think <laughs> And when I say talks, I mean rumors or talks at a DLC. Oh, yes, I did hear. Yeah, I heard a Maximilian dude kind of talking a little bit about it. That would be wild. We're all here for Zach. Hey, the second account. Oh, my goodness. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Healy. Um, I really, really appreciate you all being here. You guys are amazing. Y'all are Twitch fam strong big time. But I definitely do agree. Like, it would have been it's definitely a missed opportunity not putting crisis core out on like the playstation store or like a, a remaster of it or something maybe they will though you know with all the final fantasy 7 really coming back in the spotlight with like sephiroth and smash you know remake maybe they will kind of remaster like what crisis core imagine if they remastered dirge of cerberus that one was uh i don't know about that <laughs> what kind of play style do you think you are going for with demon souls remember my dark souls 3 character was wizard crisis core does need a remaster it's so amazing i was thinking of just when i played bloodborne i went for like vitality and strength um i didn't really dive too much into magic um but yeah probably more like vitality and strength like uh you know just hit hard and take take the hits incoming it would have been fun to do magic. Ryman was trying to push me a little bit to go on the magic side. It doesn't seem like there's too much magic in this game, but there is like, what is it? Like the warding spell and which is really good for defense. And what else? There's like the soul, the little soul fire things you can throw. And those are pretty dope. Did you go for a mage as well when you did Bloodborne hand elf? You know, I'm very disappointed in myself. I made this just for deaths and keep forgetting. <laughs> I, it's okay. At this point, easy. I die so much. I would forget as well. So it has just become custom at this point that I die so much in these games. But they're still fun. We still have a good time. We still get good vibes out of them. No, I didn't actually go for a mage. What was the first weapon you picked when you started Bloodborne? I used the Ludwig's Blade. I think that was, yeah, lots of strength. That's kind of like similar for Claymore, like what my character's going for. Dude, the Holy Blade is, mm, that was a good weapon. I went for the Saw Cleaver right out the gate because like I saw it on the cover and I'm like, it looks so cool. Saw Cleaver is really fun too, but it's really interesting just talking like I feel like these games are oh pronounced Haley I am so sorry Haley 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 I, what's so cool about these games is like there's so many different ways you can start them and then there's so many like different experiences you can have with the bosses you know I feel like that's what makes them so much fun it's like everyone can play the same game and everyone can have a different experience did you attune a cell to the third slot I think I, I think I did unlock the third slot and I don't know if I did equip any magic on it. Oh no. I unlocked this like two or three streams back, right? <gasps> My bad. My bad. Definitely not a professional streamer over here. That's for damn sure. <laughs> 
Um, probably fire, right? Because I think we have warding for defense. It'd be pretty cool to do like, like actually have some fire attack magic. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, let's do flame toss. Let's do flame toss. Thank you so much, Starbuncle. Freaking MVP over there. Yeah, and then it's that. Yes. So now we got flame toss and warding. I can dig it. Can you dig it? The whole issue with Gacton about demanding royalties is mainly why cry. Oh, the whole issue with Gact. Interesting. What is what's going on with Gact Starfish? Is there some something like was Crisis Core made some way that like Square Enix cannot just remake it if they want to? Is there something blocking it? Who played the main villain? Interesting. Why? But well, why would one who played the main villain? Oh, like the voice actor? Is there something like in the contract where like they can't remake it in that same way or something? His likeness and voice. Really? That's a thing? Well, we've long been acquainted. Interesting. Price, eh? Patches. I have such strong feeling about Patches here. Wait, wasn't there someone else that we rescued from like 4-2 that they said was going to be in the Nexus? Yo, Doro! Your voice! Your voice, my friend! Your voice is beautiful. Dude, Doro, how are you doing today, buddy? Welcome in, you absolute legend. Hope you are having an incredible, magnificent, wonderful, tastic day. My goodness. I, I'm hyped to see Doro here. All the love, my friend. We're just kind of talking about Final Fantasy goodness. And yeah. Talking about Crisis Core. Hmm. Apparently Crisis Core has like some something going on with issues around the villain like where they can't just remake it and i'm just dying 10 million times in demon souls so you know just typical stream <laughs> but i swear there was someone we rescued in like 4-2 that was supposed to be back at the nexus or am i crazy maybe i am crazy because i don't really see anyone new i really might be crazy i'm hyped to finally be here how are you liking demon souls <gasps> dude demon souls is pretty fun I've been digging it so far. It's a really fun game. Um, it's definitely tough. Like it's, oh, hi, Layla. You want to come say hi to Doro? Layla says hi. Yeah, you say hi. You want to say hi? She She's realizing she's like, I need some attention. We It's been too long since Zef gave me attention. Mwah. Layla says hi to everyone. She gets these moments where I'll be like streaming and I haven't really like said hi or anything to her in like an hour and she just has to come over and give love. Yeah, you're so full of love all the time, aren't you? Hey again, small world, small Twitch world, right? That's the, my favorite thing, Mr. White, is like jumping into people's streams and like seeing so many incredible friends like all over. The Twitch world is like really big, but at the same time, really small, you know? Just made my day. You want to say hi, Layla? Say hi to everyone. Look at this face. Look at this grin. Don't tell the others, but she might be my favorite. No, they're all equally favorites, right? There is no favorite. Mwah. Layla's being a Layla. You're cute. Yeah, I think, you know what she's trying to do? She's trying to use her puppy eyes and see who's going to cave and give her puppy treats. You already got some teas. And Twitch making friends is a great thing to do. I a thousand percent agree, Cody. Like that for me is is what it's all about. It's just like hanging out with friends, vibing, just chatting, you know. Like, I mean, it's fun to play games. But absolutely, it's it's so much fun to just talk to people. Best Layla is best dog. Oh, you want to come say hi again? Say thank you, Doro. I best puppy dog. She is pretty cute. <laughs> uh, but yeah, dude. Doro, hope you were doing incredible, man. Seriously, thank you so much for popping in, for hanging out, for giving all the good vibes. Layla, giving all her good vibes that she has. Do you see her down there? Do you see her? Oh boy, dogs are crazy. Man, I think this is actually, I think now that we got some, got some good souls, we got a couple, some, some grass. Maybe we can go back tomorrow and try to take on that area, but 
no i really appreciate y'all being here like seriously it's it it really is such like a mental do y'all feel this too if, if if for anyone out there that like streams do y'all feel like when you stream it's almost like a mental it's like a mental escape you know like it, it's just something where you can dive into and just chat and have conversations yes dude doro we we are are we like brothers in another life or something i feel that i always say that yeah just chatting i always say just chatting is the best game on twitch helps get away from the real world it really does it's almost like it's almost like an escape you know like right when i sit down start streaming kind of get everything going it's like it's a whole different world you know and have so many awesome people to chat with and like really ask like yo like cody how's your day going dora what are you up to today starfish what are you doing today you know and just like really dive in and like talk to everyone about what's going on in their day username says it's all about how streaming helps me disassociation a hey, i feel that i feel like it's just a really good escape you know there's so much creativity here too like with how you want to set the whole overlay and everything up and like from just just how you do everything it's like a creative escape a friendship escape it's just a lot of good stuff here y'all is anybody else streaming today by the way do we got anyone else Cody you streaming today or Doro, Mr. White, Starfish. We got anyone else streaming today? Yo, easy pickings. Welcome in, buddy. How you doing today? Streaming really is diving into another. I mean, it totally is. It totally is. It's like we're in like Twitch universe. Ooh, some Dark Souls 2. Hey, nice. I am later tonight. What are you playing later tonight, Cody? I'm doing well, friend. Dude, that is awesome to hear. I'm really happy to hear that. I really hope everyone's doing well. Today is a beautiful day. It is a wonderful day. Hope everyone just has a killer day today, my friends. I'm doing good. We're just playing some Demon Souls. I didn't really make as much progress as I wanted to, but that's okay. You know, we were in some, some poopy situations. <laughs> it's the five-year-old humor in me coming out. About an hour and a half. Ooh, hell yeah, Turbo Drive Live. What are you playing? Are you playing more Sonic? That's some amazing people in here. Some great friends came out of it. Really glad I started. I feel that, Mr. White. Yeah, I've, <laughs> that's Turbo. Yep, Turbo Drive Live. Like, I feel that too. But yeah, like, I just met some people that, like, I genuinely really, really enjoy talking to them and seeing how their day is going. Like, every time, like, all of you pop in, I'm just like, yo, easy. How's your day going? Dude, Commanding Sins, how's your day going, my friend? Like, disassociation, like, just, I, I love talking to all of you, you know? That's what it's about. Be streaming tonight after work. Definitely would love to see some people there playing. Ooh, ooh Bloodborne or Resident Evil 7. Hey, I've never played any of the Resident Evil games, and I know I'm missing out big time. I've heard a lot of people say they really love them. Ooh, Cody 7 or 7 Remake. Oh, such great ones. I Man, the way they did the music in 7 Remake is so good they did such a good job with the soundtrack and seven remake it's so good streams become tough as no games have piqued my interest which makes it tough to go live i mean you could always do just chatting easy or if you do anything else aside from like playing games like you could always do uh you know some like maybe like music streams or art streams or cooking streams i'm definitely believe you do not have to just play games for streaming on twitch like i know a lot of people play games on Twitch, but Twitch is really branching out and becoming so much more than just games. Like the just chatting section has exploded, like music section, the art section, baking. There's a lot of really cool stuff you can do outside of just games. You know, I, I, I definitely want to dive into more of that myself as time goes on. Ooh, fan created remaster of Sonic three. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Much love to you, Zef. Hope you have an amazing day. Every day you get a hangout gets the day set right. Mr. White, just huge hugs for you, my friend. Huge hugs and love and good vibes always, my man. Dude, Zephyr, you have to play Resident Evil. I know, Chris. I know, I know, I know. Do you have a do you have a favorite, Chris? Is there anyone that like is your particular favorite? I feel like talking to people about Resident Evil games, a lot of them say like two and four. I feel like a lot of people say two and four are just their absolute favorites 
yeah resi might be my favorite series yo started my journey of streaming so excited to be awesome like you commanding sins you were already awesome before streaming just now you get to share that awesomeness with the world my friend um but big hugs for you guys like you guys seriously just always melt me with love you guys are awesome just being you is the way to go on twitch thank you doro i a million percent agree just be you play whatever games you want to play or don't play games you know grab that ukulele and jam or you know chat about whatever you want the world is your oyster right i'm easter standard so most of my friends are pst or from australia dude uh, hanging out and meeting people from all across the world is like the coolest thing having friends in australia or japan or brazil or the uk just everywhere it's so freaking cool i love it i want to say buddy that i really appreciate you i aspire to have such positivity inviting and heartwarming presence like you you are an amazing oh my goodness easy <laughs> Thank you, my goodness. I know you help me through my day and make a huge difference in the lives of, uh, lives of others. So I want to say thank you for being you, buddy. Easy beasy. Just huge damn love for you, my friend. Thank you, seriously. Like, I don't even know what to say. Just huge, huge love for you. Um, that's just what it's all about. It's just hanging out, meeting new people, making friends and just having fun you know whatever that fun means to you whether it's playing games or or not even or doing anything else like just having fun and spreading good vibes is is what i always try to be there for really appreciate you dude thank you so much looking forward to the new house so i can have a big table for art and electronic refurbishing Ooh, wifey and i need to get on that new house uh thing asap <laughs> i've met all of my friends from twitch mostly from raids dude Rating, like I mentioned, dude, rating is like one of the best things. Um, speaking of rating, we do have someone we got to go raid here in a moment at that Turbo Drive Live redeemed raid hype for. So I got to get that going here in a moment. Going to stream probably the whole Resident Evil series. Ooh, love two and three remakes. Do you like the third remake? I feel like I've heard a lot of people have feelings about the third remake. Um, I feel like a lot of people say they like it, but I've heard some people say it's like really short. So I'm really interested. All right. Are, are, just before I'm sure Turbo Drive Live, they're playing Hall. Are they playing Hollow Knight? Are they playing Hollow Knight? I think I think I got the right one. Okay. We're going to go raid Wiblu, who Turbo Drive Live redeemed raid hype for. So holy crap. 51 viewers. Oh my goodness, y'all. I always have my viewer thing turned off, so I have no idea how many people are in here. So, my goodness. Everybody jump aboard the raid train. We're going to go raid Wiblu playing Hollow Knight. You all know how much I freaking love Hollow Knight. Seriously, Hollow Knight. It's really tough to say, but Hollow Knight might be my favorite indie game that I've played like ever since I started streaming. It is so damn beautiful. It is so gorgeous. And the music, the atmosphere, the vibe of it. Yo. Hollow Knight is magnificent. Beautiful stream as always. Starfish, you, my friend. Beautiful, beautiful. Zach, you are beautiful. Turbo Drive Live, easy pickings. Every single one of you. Thank you guys seriously so much for hanging out, for jamming today. I know we didn't get too far in Demon Souls, but it's all good. It's all about good vibes and hanging out and chatting anyway. And so thank you guys seriously so much. If you need any more Zeph in your life, definitely join the Discord. Definitely join follow me on twitter if you haven't already follow on youtube if you haven't done that all that good stuff um nothing but endless hugs and good vibes for all of you let's go raid wibloo let's go drop some epic love on them um and then of course let's blow their chat up with all your favorite zeph emotes all your favorite emotes get ready friends here we go let's go raid them it's raid hype <laughs> 